Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. It's about 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and I'm here too. What's in your glass this evening? For me, it's just whiskey on rocks. With a little bit of some bitters I picked up down south on my, was on my family vacation. There's this wonderful little store down south called A as in apple and M as in uh, mastication. A&M provisions that provide a variety of different provisions, I suppose. They got like bitters there. They got like coffee there. They've got like meats and cheeses and various other things. And it's wonderful. And so this time I've got me some Canadian whiskey, black velvet, apparently imported from Canada. They literally just drove it here in a glass with some cherry bark vanilla bitters. That's mine. It's complicated, but it was something I could whip up in a jiff. It looks like we got some other drinks in the crowd. Dr. Pepper is a fine choice. I actually have Dr. Pepper back here somewhere. Oh, maybe my fiance might have taken the last of it, but Dr. Pepper is another drink of choice. Some would say the Ambrosia of the Gods, according to one anime, Steins Gate. It's got a semicolon in the middle. It's a good show. We're back to chicory once more. Can I find all my, I gotta find my paintbrush for the session. I didn't prepare for that. There we go. Big old paintbrush. Yeah. That's my paintbrush this time. Apparently, I need to prove myself to a paintbrush. So, that's that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna prove myself to a paintbrush. Somehow, I thought I needed to prove myself to potential employers and other people that are important in my life, but no, inanimate objects need my approval the most. Or rather, I need the approval of inanimate objects the most. Chicory, what do I do? Do I pick up the brush? Brush. The brush has been acquired. Chapter 6, The Wielder Trials. I should get the Marvels on stream game. It's pretty fun. Really? What is that? I know nothing about that. I've seen Marvels. Just just Marvels. Maybe I'm thinking of the same thing. I'm going to write that down. Marvels. Mar Marbles. Marbs. Marbs on Strom. Yeah. Marbs on Strom. Powered up! My bond with the brush is now even bigger than before. They say... You know, I was going to make a bondage comment, but I think now really isn't the time for it. Anyway, bondage with the brush. I can now paint and swim on water. <laughs> nice. I can paint water now. So so now I have a watercolor paintbrush. I get it. Uh, What was your voice again? Eh, whatever. We're going with it. The center of all corruption and picnic is at the top of this tower. But you aren't ready to face it yet. Because you haven't become a proper wielder yet. I haven't? That's my fault. There's a series of five wielder trials. Five? Seriously? I have to go through trials? This game was pretty cool up until this point. Now we got the trope of like, Oh, man, now you gotta go to the five dungeons! Prove yourself to the th You know what? It's, it's fun. It's colorful, and I like that. Five wielder trials. Well, one was the wielder temple, which you did. So, there's only four left. One at each corner of Picnic. Is that like the world we live in? Is this like the world of Picnic here? That's how you're meant to bond with the brush. It's not just chains and whips this time. It's something completely different. And that's how you could reach that last step. The last step of total, total ecstasy. Where me and the brush become one. From now on, I'm going to be your teacher. Thanks, Chicory. I appreciate that. I can't promise I'll be perfect. But I'm at least going to try. Okay. Yes? Okay, I'm gonna fight the giant corruption? Bonding with the brush seems bad. What are the trials? Bond bonding with the brush seems sexual. I... I do... Who, who is... Who's uh, who's saying that? Oh, okay. Something about that. And you're bond too. Something about that. But... But... Everyone's in danger now from those corruptions. And we can't fight them without bonding with the brush. So right now, we didn't have a choice about it. We need to fix this mistake first. Whose mistake? Did you make a mistake? And decide what to do with the brush later. Okay. I'm gonna fight the giant corruption. Can you tell me what those trials are? I should just say okay. I usually don't listen this long. Each trial explores a different aspect of being the wielder. You'll find one at each corner of picnic. The aim will be to the aim will be to commune with the brush in different ways, vocally, orally, um, physically, mentally. So your bond with it would be as, as strong as it can be. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with this. Thank you, Chicory. You look nervous. Yeah. Ah! Ha! I'm totally... I'm not nervous. 
I'm not. I'm not nervous. It's okay if you are. I was too. When I bondaged with the brush. And I was under a lot less pressure. Like, I just kind of, like, months at a time, went to each one of those temples, waltzed in, camped for, like, two weeks, and then came out. It was great. I can do it! Are you sure about that? I want to be stronger. I want to learn how to be a real wielder. And help everyone. And help you too. I can do it. Okay. Come find me at one of the trials. Ellipses. You can do it, Sushi Mac. Thanks, dude. Now, speaking of chicory, I got a tea the other day that actually contains chicory. Apparently, chicory's a flower. I, I thought it'd be a food. Apparently not. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Um, corners. Uh, I, I, I drive on the left. R no, right side of the road. I'm not. I'm not anywhere else but the U.S. So I'm gonna go this way. What's up, Pico? Oh, I can climb up here now. I forgot I can do that now. Yeah. As the darkness slowly but surely rises in from the western side of the map, we travel. I've never been over here, so let's make it per- uh, not purple. Yellow. I can't seem to get my color straight today. Oh, there's something in there. hey -o. Missing child? Missing child? Hi there, missing child. Hey, buddy. That's 24 missing children in my collection. Well, not my collection. Just, yeah, I guess, some dude who's got- Probably needs to shave. It's his collection. His name's Bean, I think. His name was Bean, right? Missed opportunity not to get the beanie from Bean. It's just unfortunate. Anyway, continuing onwards. Tea Time Meadows. Oh my god. Nice. I love the theme of this place. I have listened to the... Before I even got here, I listened to this theme, like, religiously. Because it just... It's just the right... Mm. You'll hear it in a second. When the strings kick in. That's, that's the... Those are the strings. I don't know what it is about it. Like it, it, this is one of those songs that, at least for me, like I'm not. I'm sure I cannot be the only person who, like, sometimes hears a song that just like gets you the right way. And like the first time I heard the, or the first time I heard this song, I immediately put it on repeat, and then I started sobbing my eyes out because I was thinking about like life and stuff like that and how terrible a person I thought I was at the time as I sobbed as I ate a corn dog that was being dipped into Chick-fil-A sauce because we had it in the fridge. It was a very existential moment. I'm very proud of that moment. Oh, did I pick up the litter? Did I pick up the litter over there? I did pick up the litter. Anyway, me and myself and my sobbing into my Chick-fil-A sauce and corn dog meal. Um, oh, I can swim across the water now, right? Let's make green water. It's toxic. Maybe. Honestly, that has a nice aesthetic to it. I like that. I like that. Oh, can I not get into the... Oh, I see. I have to go down into the water from the ledge, and then I can climb up. Yes! Now I'm a swimming dog. I can now do the doggy paddle. Hello, hummus. Oh, uh, hello. I'm just thinking here. Are you? You're the wielder, aren't you? I hate asking for favors, but... Well, it's my friend. Uh, he passed away just recently. Sir, my deepest condolences. We spent a lot of time together at this place. His final wish was to have a colorful garden here. If you find plants, can you bring some here? I would mean more than I can say. I have plants. I can give you plants. Um, or maybe I used them all already. Where was it? Collection, uh, decor, and then I can give you plants. You want plants? I'll give you plants. Garden. Yeah, let's put some, we put a pansy here. Pansies are nice. What about, what about shooting stars? I put two shooting stars here because we should all reach for the stars. Launch into space. As a, as some people might put it. Let's see, big rock. <laughs> I love big rocks. Do we have any small rocks, though? Is that- is that proper? Buggy pile? Would your friend be- Would your friend be happy to have a pile of bugs? In their memory? Or not? I don't know. Holy crap, this thing smells awesome. I had mentioned- I had mentioned that I put some bitters in here, and it's- What is it, chard? Cherry bark vanilla. 
It smells like it smells beautiful. Oh my god. Wow, that's delicious. Fix myself. Oh, I feel like I got so many more times to fix. Okay. How shall we fix ourselves this time? First, I'm adjust my camera, because honestly, it probably wasn't that centered. Let's see. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's cool. That's cool. Fix myself by probably adjusting the lights. I think the lights could be a little maybe a different color. Let's do it that. Yeah, I like that. Adjust the angle there. That's fine. Maybe put on Hmm. Luigi? Nah, it's it's it doesn't work that way. You know what? Yes. Sunglasses for a little bit. But in addition to that, let's do also regular glasses. Oh, that's tough to get on. There we go. That's hot, right? I'd consider that to be hot. Why not? Fuck it. Let's put on a party hat, too. I've been demanded to fix myself at least seven times. Whoa, okay. Bye-bye, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I can get into that one. I gotta take this off. There we go. That's perfect. Now I'm Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I'd say that's fixed. And by fixed, we mean, like, fixed the way that you would fix your dog. Like, I am absolutely not getting any because I'm physically unable to now. I've completely re-virginized myself by fixing myself seven times. Let's see, the glasses, other glasses. Glasses are pairs, so let's count that as four. And then the hat, and then a camera and the light. Yeah, seven. Client counted, right? Hummus, are you okay now? His name was Parsley. He really was a special guy. He loved plants more than anyone. He always had more than he could handle. <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate the planning that you've done here. I think Parsley would have really liked these. It's still a bit small, though. So, uh, could you make it bigger? I want it bigger. Oh, I sound ridiculous. Now, nah, don't, don't I, don't I, no, 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 no. You, in memory of your friend, we need more plants. So we're going to put more shooting stars here. More of that. To the moon. To the moon with your shooting stars. SpaceX and Mr. Jeffrey Bezos. Going up to the moon. And I'm gonna put a buggy pile there. Right as far away from you as possible. Like right up, right up there. There you go. Buggy pile nonetheless. Hang plant, hang plant. Hang 10, hang plant. More seedlings? Absolutely. How about more seedlings? I like that. It's a good thing I spent all my trash on this. I've been preparing for a moment like this to ca to um to accessorize my garden. Yes. Yes, indeed. Hummus, is that okay? <gasps> oh! Uh, my goodness. You've made such a lovely garden. It's... It's just what Parsley would have wanted. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I... I don't know what to say. I, I'm sorry. I... I need to collect myself. C can you come back in a moment? I just need to- I just need to be alone for a moment with this- this singular corn dog and this entire sauce packet of Chick-fil-A sauce. It's just- it's my coping mechanism. I'll paint this blue. I'm gonna go check him out again. Maybe he's gone. Is he gone? No? Oh my god! Yo, what's up, dude? Yo, Coquette, what's up? Hummus? You erased some of the colors. I'd really like to see it back again. I- I did? I did not erase any colors. Uh, color. Color, color. Let's let's color. Plants deserve to be green. Right? Maybe? Let's do the blue again over here. I live to serve, Monsieur Hummus. Colors. Oh, do you need more colors? Perhaps you need more. Is there more colors to be oh you no. Oh, I can't talk to you anymore. Do we need do we require more colors? Maybe if I color absolutely everything, this this will be what you require. Well, I tried, you know. Croquette, what's up? I heard there was a lovely garden here, so I had to come see. Being with all the plants here makes me so happy. I want all of Picnic to be covered in plants like this. Uh, listen, let's let's save one dead friend per area. This was a lot of effort. Okay, I'm gonna go up this way. <gasps> child! Child in the tree! There's another child in the tree! I will retrieve you, my child! Um, do I have to... Actually, can I swim up from the bottom area and then go upward? Can I do that? Oh, Hummus, hello, what's up? Thanks. I'm feeling a little more myself. 
This place will always make me think of Parsley. And now, it's like he's still here with me, in a way. Please, take this. <gasps> Honeysuckle! Now I've got more plants. This was his favorite flower. Thank you. You're welcome, Hummus. Any holiday or any birthday, you could always count on Parsley to have a new plant for you. He knew so much about all the different kinds. He had a way of making you love them, too. I don't know a thing about plants, personally. <laughs> uh, but so when he got sick, I had said he wanted a garden here. I am, um, well, I, yeah, I, I really didn't know where to begin. I guess it was an overwhelming situation for a number of different reasons. Nothing can replace having parsley. I'll always think of him when I see a pretty flower. Or a big, leafy plant. A giant spaceship going up in this, to the sky. A bowl of Chick-fil-A sauce, like literally a gallon bucket. Or, or potentially even a messy pug, bu pile of bugs. I'll remember Parsley. It's hard right now for that not to be a sad thing, but maybe it's a good thing too. Believe in yourself. You can recover. We all can recover. And I can uh, save children from abandonment. I can. I believe in myself. I believe in all of us to find lost children and return them to their rightful places. Next to, not their parents' side. Uh, in this case, it's literally just, it's just like, it's just some random dude who's just like, yeah, you know what? I don't have enough kids, so give me more. I'm like, all right, buddy. I can break Raku. Break Raku? Raku is broken. Break Raku again? Break all the rocks. There's something satisfying about breaking rocks. Another one. Yeah. More rocks to be broken. I haven't done this in a while. When was the last time I played this game? A month ago, maybe? I don't know. It's like second stream since I got back, you know? Oh, and speaking of which, I was supposed to start at 7 o'clock p.m., but I started a little bit late because I actually ordered something for myself the other day. Literally, actually, I think two days ago, maybe? Um, I ordered myself a GPU, finally, for this computer. So where... Th that... that side... no, that side. On that screen? That's running a GPU now. It's great. Chicory is running on full GeForce power, which is wonderful. And uh, eventually I have to integrate that in my stream setup so that, you know, there's no potential of stuttering and stuff like that, which we'd like to avoid. But uh, that's why I was a little late. So, I guess, uh, just to explain myself a little bit, it took a little effort to switch over the integrated graphics to the discrete graphics and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. It's about 8.18 now. It's about 1 a.m. over where Ashley's at. Over across the pond, so to speak. Oh god, I gotta take this... Take all this gear off. Only temporary. You gotta earn. You gotta earn the party hat. You gotta, earn, you gotta earn it. Oh, can I go up inside that waterfall? Oh, I bet I can go up inside that waterfall. Yeah. I'm gonna go in that waterfall. Can I get... Oh, can I not? Maybe? Potentially? Maybe? Maybe something? If I... No... Can't go inside the waterfall. But can do this. And just like that. I can do that. So I'm happy with that. Oh, I didn't mean to... Oops. I did not mean to color my face that putrid green. Back in the grub caverns. I don't think I've been in these particular grub caverns. You know what this kind of tastes like now? It's like... Like a brown sugar... I have these cereal bars. They're Z-bars. They taste like that. That's incredible. It's like... Hmm. Very, very interesting. I, you can, I can jump now. I just remembered I can jump now. How did I do that? I go into the ground and then I, like... What button do I click? Nope. Okay. Is it that one? Nope. 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 What do I click? Hmm. There we go. It was this one. Nope. That, that was it. That would have been it if I did it properly. Oh, I see now. I think. I believe, potentially, that if I fall into the water, I have to start over again. That's the trial. Right? Right? Maybe? Maybe, perhaps? Perhaps, perhaps, maybe? No, or that maybe I was supposed to get in the water. Okay. Oh, I was totally supposed to get in the water. <laughs> now I've got a monocle. I'm going to put a monocle on my face. 
Because it makes me feel fancy. Fancy, dancy, wonderful, wonderful. How does that feel about monocles? I'm not sure why I think of that. I feel like the only person the only person who would wear a monocle would be somebody named Nigel. Or if somebody bought me a monocle, I may as well change my name to Nigel because I would definitely wear the monocle. Come to think of it, my freshman year RA, my resident re resident quote unquote asshole. Just kidding. He was a really nice guy actually for uh, for my freshman dorm. His name was Nigel. I remember him. Nigel was a really cool guy, apparently. So cool, in fact that apparently uh the day that i was it was announced that my room had gotten bed bugs and i needed to do literally all of my laundry in one night to move all of my belongings in the middle of finals week while also trying to schedule interviews for my co-op position i got really drunk to do all my laundry and um yeah nigel apparently didn't care i spoke to him very drunkenly and he did not have a conniption with it so thank you nigel you are, you are a pal of mine. You were always a pal. Nope, that was the wrong button. How do I do that button? There we go. And then I jump down. And then I jump down there. Oh, that's that, that's my jump button. Oh, I see. That's my jump button. I don't even need to be in the bottom. I love this monocle. Do, 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 do. Studs? This is a bad dog now. I'm the bad dog now. Oh, but it replaces the monocle. Ah, oh, I don't know about it. I don't know if I, how I feel about that. I like the monocle. Oh, okay, I can... Oh, that was interesting. So that's on a higher level than the ones down here. So I go up here, and then I bounce down there, and then I... Color in the path so I can see what's going on. And then I guess I just bounce over this... Uh, bounce, bounce, but bounce, bounce, but bounce, bounce. Bounce over here, bounce over there. Are there any more secrets to find? Perchance there's more secrets to find over here. Uh, the answer is no. We move on. There are no secrets. Unless there actually are one. I remember speaking to somebody in chat before. Apparently, I think, what was it? It took them, if they were to 100% this game with all collectibles and speed run it, it would take them about four hours, I think? Four or five hours? Maybe that's what it was? <gasps> Expandable mushroom plants! Another potential plant for our journey. It can come in handy. And a bunch of litter up there? Well, now I have to make a scene. Can't just leave this shit lying around. Such disrespect. Such disrespect but i can bounce like that and then bounce like that and pick up all this terraz you know what they say you are what you eat and i don't usually put trash in my mouth so some would say that i am not trash in that case however however oftentimes the junk food that i put in my body people would consider to be trash i don't eat a lot of junk food but when i do it's usually an entire bag like i don't usually eat a lot of like processed foods and stuff like that but if you get me in the mood and you get me like like if you go to the store right and you buy the family bag of chips and it's literally just you and you take a bite of one chip and you're like oh damn that's good and you take the next chip and you're like damn that's also really good i'm the kind of person who will continue that motion like like iteratively iterat iteratively words iteratively for every chip in the bag for every single chip if i were the algorithm that's how I would do it. I need every single chip in the damn bag. Um, until somebody stops me. Or until, like, my conscience cats up, catches up with me. Until I can actually, like, look at my hands and realize what I've done. Like, I, I, put, I, like, I look at my hands like this. like, no. They're covered in chip dust. I, I can't continue. What have I done to myself? And then, maybe I'll stop eating the chips. If the, ba the bottom of the bag has actually not already... Uh, Determined by that. Wait, descent to feast. Shortcut to surface. Bugs only. Wait, oh. I'm back over here again? This is... Oh. I'm back down here again. The maps, the corners of the map all connect to each other. I wasn't supposed to be in this cave. Huh. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to the top left side of the world. Because that is what is most available to me right now. Look at that. Now I'm over here. Didn't expect to be this way, but we have. Maybe with my newfound powers, I will be able to find new and wonderful things. For example, what's in this cave? Something I've already found. Oh, this memory of mine is going to come back to haunt me. Okay, what's what's up this way? Hello. Hello, anybody in the cave? Anybody in the, in the house? 
Somebody in the house? Are you Hatman? Who are you? Spinachi? Right now, I, the place you've been with the most glitter would be Gulp Swamp. There's litter on two screens there. It'd be so beautiful if not for that litter. Okay, so you're the guy who tells me what my litter problems are. You tell me how much trash inversely I have, or I am. Oh, you know, can I jump over any of that? No, but there's a waterway. Mmm, there's a waterway. If I gain access to that waterway, this might come in handy. Can I go up this? Nope, can't go up there. How does one? They're all in the corner of the bed. You know what? I know exactly where the corner of dinners is supposed to be. Raisin, what do you want? Hey, uh, uh, we had a research assignment at the academy, so I came to check out the colors here. Uh, feels like cheating. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't really know what to worry about. Uh, I'm not good at that stuff. Uh, just wanted to look at cool art. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding, the phone's for me! Hello? Hey, Sushi Mac, it's your mom. Are you doing okay? I know it's out of the blue, but I was thinking of coming to visit. Uh, at your house, in luncheon, by the Wielder Tower. Uh, I thought I'd give you a heads up, because, well... When you moved in, there wasn't much there, and so I thought, mm, maybe you'd try to make it presentable, you know? Uh, but that's all. I'll see you at your house sometime. Take some time to decorate if you haven't already. I'm excited to see you there. Mom's coming over to my house and expecting me to have furniture? <laughs> Mom, you don't realize I haven't been at home in months. It's been years, Mom. I, I forgot where I live. Nah, just kidding. I was there last episode. Anyway. Oh, was I... Okay, so this was a big present over here. Is there is there potentially more? I feel like there's more. No, there is not. How do I... Huh. Interesting. So I jump over there. I come over here. This is not where I'm supposed to be, apparently. This is, this is not the path I was meant to take. Chicory had told me that there is a thing in every corner. So I've attempted to try to find that corner. Maybe my bird friend at the top of the tower will be able to help me out. Hello! Nope. You don't say anything anymore? Okie dokie. Time to jump to my doom. Bye, world. Cruel world. Transit company. Wait, 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 wait. No, what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to go here. No, is that not the... Transit bench! Transit bench! Yes! Want to get to live somewhere? Yes, I do! But where do I want to go? The possibilities are endless. Oh, I see now. That's what that map was. <laughs> yeah. Can I move around the map a little bit? Can I, like... No? Okay, so luncheon? That's that's the middle of luncheon. And I suppose all the other areas are places that I haven't been to yet. So I'm not actually at the corner. I thought I was. Let's go... To the AP Foothills! Travel there? Travel there! Yes! Here's my ticket. Fly me away. To the Eleven Seas. Was I able to go into these little crevasses the last time I was here? I don't think so. Let's go inside. <gasps> I was not. A new crevasse with my name on it? Why? Don't mind if I do. I wonder what might be lying in these caverns. Oh, a present. That's cute. That's so cute. Honestly, so cute that I forgot to chuckle. Half... Oh! They're called half moons. Oh, those are called half moon glasses? Oh! That makes sense! I was attempting to look for a particular combination of getup. So if I have the moon here and the moon's on top, the person will be like, Yo, you're looking pretty good. Let me give you something for the thing of a bob. Like, all right, so I'm actually going to make a quick stop in uh, wherever the middle area is. Luncheon? Luncheon. Make a quick stop in luncheon. I think that's where my home is supposed to be. Yes. Yes. Oh, I just noticed too. The map has my design on it. That's the little clusterfuck that I left in the middle of the bench. I'm so happy that it remembers like that. That's so nice. That's so cool. Anyway, I have to find what's his face. Uh, goat. No, you were sitting outside. What's up, my dude? Yeah. Oh, it's. Whoa. I love that look. You've captured the moment with it. For that. Here's something cool. Big shades! Do you wear them now? Of course you do! Why not wear the big shades? It's big shades time again. But I think I'm looking for a new outfit now. What kind of outfit? Clown college. That's the outfit I'm looking for right now. Do I have any clown getup? 
I don't think I do. God, smite me now if I have clown get up on me. Clown? Clown? Doo -doo -doo. I think I have a nose in here somewhere. <laughs> no, apparently I don't. No clown gear this time. Google is. Gardener. Fungi. Flower. Oof. Yes! It's the yes hat. Oh, there's the clown. Mm, there's the clown thing. Is there a clown shirt too? Mm, I don't want it. I don't want it, but if there is... No, I don't believe there is. I don't have the clown get up on me. Well, good then. Glad to know. I'd much rather go back to... I don't know. Literally anything. Goggles? Goggles are cool. Goggles and a smock? I like that. Yeah. Thanks, Oots. I appreciate you, Oots. Oh, I took the big shades off, so... No more shades. Then the shades have fallen to the floor. Entropy, my friends. It is a force of destruction. Uh, back to the eleven seas. Indeed. Back to the la alavancence. Le alavala. I gotta wonder. Everything. Everything is named after like food or a particular time for a meal. Now, now I gotta wonder. What is an eleven seas? Is that a type of food that I'm not familiar with? It must be, because I have no idea what an 11 C's is. All right, actually, let's figure this out. Hey, Google, what are 11 C's? Oh. oh my God, the Google Home is on. No, stop. Google, stop. Hey, Google, stop. Hey, Google, stop. Okay, well. What are you doing? Hey, Google, stop. That's outside? Oh, that was outside. Okay, I thought that my Google Home all of a sudden started playing music. No. There's apparently people outside on their... on their car stereos. I got really confused for a minute. Thank you for the correction, dearest. I probably would have literally walked over there to investigate. Back to the AP foothills. There must be something around here. Maybe. Eventually I'll figure out what Eleven Seas is. The music in this game is quite a bop, but we already knew that. And we already knew that. Why? Because I definitely mentioned it at least 300 times in this playthrough alone. That the music is wonderful. Oh, that thing explodes. It's an exploding flower? What does it do for me? If, I, if I'm if i here, no, it doesn't do anything. Up. Up, I say. Okay. I don't know what that exploding flower is supposed to do. Oh, there's a transit bench up here, too. Interesting. Do I want to go anywhere? I really don't this time. However, I do want to catch that litter on the other side. Never catch me litter like that. That's terrible. Bounce. Litter. I guess there was nothing for me to find over here. Just a... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. It goes in this direction. I might have spoken too soon. Hey, it's a chicory. And there's a child in that tree. But I cannot retrieve the child. Chicory. Pal. Girl. Girl. I guess I must find a different path. Alrighty then. Down here, and then that way, and then I gotta get... I can jump up there? I can't jump up there. Hmm. Maybe I go over here, and that'll help me somewhere else? Now I'm on the other side of the water. How will this do? Desert Mountain Trail this way. Desert Mountain is where I need to be. What is inside of this hole? Hole? Show me the hole. Oh! Oh, that's a thing that happens. Okay, that, that bounces me upward. That's cool. I love how the ground just, like, geysers like that. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Oh, as it comes back down, you can bounce like this. That was new and exciting. I like new and exciting things. And there's something in the ground. It's a present. What's inside? Hiking gear. Nice. I like hiking gear. I like that. Uh, la la la. I'm not sure where to go from here, so I'm going to try to go back to the other direction. And figure things out from there. Desert Mountain Trail is indeed in this direction. Somehow, there's a way for me to get up on top of that tree. Can I jump out of the water? Is that a thing I can do? I can jump out of the water. So, that's wonderful. Jump, 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 jump out of the water. Nope, that it doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form. I'm gonna go down here, and then somewhere to the right. It looks like I can go to the right by using this geyser thing here. Who knew? Yep, up there and... Well, that was easy. I go up here. Ooh, I see, I see. Ah. Can I go back the other way? Wait, 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 wait. There we go, I can do that. Grab the gift and then continue. Earmuffs! It'll keep me warm in these times of cold. Oh, what is, what is... 
Oh. I can stay there temporarily as I drip to the ground in liquid form. I've become one with the paint. The paint and I are now complete together. This cocktail of mine literally tastes... smells like... It's not tastes like... Smells like... Like a maple sugar breakfast bar. It's crazy. Every single time I put my nose to it, I'm like, wow. That's incredible. Oh, shit, dog. Oh. Lost child in the tree? It's a lost child in the tree! Welcome, lost child in the tree. I appreciate your presence, as I always do. Let's do that, and then that, and then... Boop, and then all the way to the other side. Gift. Puffy. I don't like the way that those clouds sound when they're dripping. It's a, it's a little too... For me. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, it's like, it's exactly that vibe. It's just like, ugh. There's a word for it, and that word is moist. Moist and uncomfortable. Hmm. What a term. Oh, crap. I've fallen into the ground. Bounce to the cloud, bounce to the cloud, bounce the other way around. And then what? Oh, I see. If I go inside onto the cloud, and then I... Jump off and this. No, I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Looks like Cameron's made yet another boo boo. But that's okay. I tend to make those literally all the time. Stop. Stop. Words. Buttons. Oh, wait. I should just be doing. I should do this button. Then I can go like that. And then I can bounce. And then I can bounce. And then. Gooey, gooey paints. Okay. Nice. Got my present. Doo, 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 doo. Headscarf. I wonder how many collectibles there are in this game. I think it gives me a percentage of things, right? Doesn't it? Isn't there a percentage somewhere? No? Whatever. What is this? Oh, these are all of my brush styles. Glow, a power reveal. Oh, these are all of the abilities that I have. B to swim and a reminder of how to use them in case I ever forget, which I probably will. Because that's, that's how my mind works. That's why I have to take notes of everything. Because if I don't, I will... I will forget. Oh, I need to bounce over the cloud. No, I missed the cloud. I must be very agile as I walk between the clouds. Clouds. Nope, that didn't work at all. Maybe, what am I doing wrong here? No. Maybe it has to be below me. Nope, I messed that up again. Try as I might, some things just don't want to work. Yes, it worked for me this time. Try as I might, that one worked. I'm happy about that. Oh, but I see a secret on the ground that I just can't ignore. So I have to go back down. Wait, what? That's not a secret? I clearly see a little cavern. I, I see a little area down there. What? I must be able to traverse that. There's no way. There's a little... I'm, I can't play the only one who sees that down. Maybe that's the tree. Oh, bother. Oh, well. Guess I'm going back in the, up in the clouds again. It'll be easier this time. It'll be much easier this time. Watch, watch. It'll be so easy this time. See, lickety split. Absolutely no problem. It's so easy to be me. It's so, it's so easy. Yeah, just like that. Just so undeniably easy. Oh, but I want to be on top of the cloud. That's to get to the other side. But I don't want to do that. I want to go up here. I want to see my pal Chicory. What's up, Chicory? Have you noticed that there's a child over here? Have you decided to ignore that? Anyway, hey, pal. Hey, Chicory. Hey, Sushi Mac. It looks like you found your first trial. Correct. Uh, I, I guess I knew I'd take someone through this someday. But my memory of being on the other side is still fresh. I'll do my best, okay? For this trial, you're going to climb to the very top of Desert Peak. What? What does that have to do with being the wielder? Good question. I, I, I guess it's not really about the mountain. The theme of this trial is rising to wielder status. It's symbolic. It's a metaphor. Y you understand. But it is the trial. So, let's get climbing. Shit. A climbing I will go, a climbing I will go. La da 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 
I'm gonna Oh, I need the ball. Can't forget about the balls. Forget about the ball for a second. You're in for a rude awakening. Oh, did that not work? Oh, right. I can climb up walls. I have to go up here, push ball, bust this nut all over the rock. If I can. Can I please? Hello? He hello? There we go. I consider that nut busted. And, and then ball down here. First we go down, then we go to the side. Carefully but slowly roll this ball to where we need to be. Down in this direction. That's that's right. Just like that. Walk along. Walk along. Walk along. Do like that. Okay. That's okay as well. I can just climb up this wall over here. And then genteely, genteely push ball up mountain. Push ball over plants. Over to rock. And then explode Raku. Now path is clear for everyone. For everyone. Uh, how do I erase again? There we go. That's how I erase. I remember how to erase. It's the other trigger button. This one's to paint, and this one's to erase. Who knew? Oh, it's all blue up here. I suppose Desert Peak is cold. Maybe that's what that hiking gear on uh, earmuffs were for. Maybe. I like that. I like that nice blue, blue-gray color. We've also got a nice, like, polar ice. A uh, light blue. It's very icy. Very icy colors. A very cold color palette. Um, Hello? Yeah, out of here! There is no answer from the door. There is still no answer from the door. I have tried three times. Still no answer. So maybe if I paint this stuff, can I can I get all up in there? Can I get all up in the paint? No? Cannot get all up in the paint, so to speak. Uh, can I go? Nope. Cannot go up that way. Um, if I paint your door, what if I paint your door? Will that get you so incredibly beguiled that you must open the door? Maybe. Hello? There's still no answer. Okie dokie. Uh, can I jump off the mountain? Can I jump down? No. It appears... Well, it appears that I'm not gonna be able to go into there, so I guess I'm gonna wind up going back there. That's okay. And in other news, Ashley is totally not falling asleep right now. Well, we've got this just in from the headquarters. If you'd like us to fix that, I can scream really loud. It is always an option on the table. I try not to, because it hurts my vocal cords. But to help a brother out, I do anything. And next on the news, sports. Today on Sports Sport Ball, starring you and, and the sport ball that explodes. It has feelings, you know. And those feelings are sexual. Oh, look, big giant, uh, big giant thingamabot. Oh, that didn't work. And now how about I go up there? <gasps> oh, it's all limp now. I want to get to that treasure chest over there. And if it means going onto a couple of limp clouds, uh, I guess I'll do that. I mean, they're not really, they're not really limp. It's the geyser that becomes limp if, I, if I'm not careful. Oh my goodness! There we go. Nope. Come on, bounce. Bounce for... Damn it! It sounded like Rick from Rick and Morty. I can do that. Rick's not that difficult, I guess. Is this, a, is this a Rick voice? I don't know which voice it was, honestly. All I gotta do is do the burp. Uh, Morty. Morty and Mordecai, we're going 120 years, chicory. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, I gotta get all of these clouds, man. I've forgotten what button to click. God damn it. Okay, it's B button. Oh, I need the jump button. Yeah, I needed the jump button, and I didn't do the jump button. Jump, jump, jumpity jump. Get all over to where it needs to. No, the cloud! Why did you move, cloud? I didn't mean to even click. Don't, don't move, cloud. All right, and then, and then, boop. No, I missed it. I will get up there if it's the last thing I do. So help me God, I'm gonna get that giant present. Yes, that's one. Yes, that's two. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Triple exclamation point present. What's inside? A pattern, probably. Woo! I got the brush style pulsating dots. This style lets you paint with a texture. Awesome. Is that is that new? Is that new? I don't I don't think that's new. Um, there we go. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so 
pulsating dots. The dots are all pulsating. We like that. We like to see that, don't we? Right? No, it's a little... Mm, no. It's good. You know what? It has potential. I'll give it that. It has potential. And that's what we like to see around here. We like to see potential, if at all possible. We like to see potential. And we also like to see cocktails that smell like breakfast brown maple sugar bars. You really just can't get enough of that. I'm not I'm not gonna stop I'm not gonna stop mentioning that. It's just so good. Bells on the peaks. Ooh. This just got exciting. It's got really exciting for some reason. I bet if I can I jump from this? I cannot jump from that. Oh, you know, the wind. With the wind blowing, it reminds me a lot of uh, Celeste. Ah. Ooh-woo. Oh, daddy. Uh, sorry, I don't know where that came from. My sincerest apologies. I'd like to personally apologize to all children in chat. And to all the adults out there, you're welcome. I just heard my fiancé from the distance say, Ew. That means things are working properly. Ah, I see when the wind is blowing, there's some extra momentum. I like that. I like that. We like to see that happen. So I have to wait for the wind to die down. And after the wind dies down, we're waiting for the wind to die down. Why will not the wind die down? Maybe I have to do something with these plants to get the wind to die down. Why will the wind not... Oh, wait, there's a path on the wall. I'm supposed to paint the path on the wall. Silly me. Silly me. <laughs> when will Anna be in a stream? She was in a stream last time. You must have missed it. She pops on with me. See, I've got a schedule. She doesn't have a schedule. Jake's just saying how much he missed you. Well, I, for one, have not mentioned yet how much I missed you. Been gone for so long, it's like I've completely forgotten. I've forgotten the touch. I've forgotten the touch the of a gentle hand. About? Who am I talking about? I don't really know, but I'm just saying. I've completely forgot the touch of a strong man. Not that I ever knew the touch of a strong man, except for obviously my own hands, but... Just saying. Just saying. You know. Oh my God. <laughs> a winky face. No, like, the stream, as in, oh, like, when does she come walk into the stream? Like, uh, I don't know. I, I could just ask her. Anna, your cameo appearance has been requested. Oh, hell no. Oh, she says, hell no. You're gonna have to work for it. Okay, no, 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 just kidding. There is no working for it. There's no possible amount of effort that you can put in for it to happen. We've got some girls from the crowd. Oh, 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 for a hot... Oh, look, there she's... Oh, 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 she walked... Oh, she walked into the camera frame for a hot second. You just missed her. I'm so sorry. Quick, quick, quick. There must be a simp somewhere to clip Anna being on f on screen for like 10 frames. There has to be somebody. Quick, Anna, where's your brother? He'll do it. Oh, work. oh, he's at work. He's a working man now. Ah. $5,000 from the Spark PayPal? Yeah, lies. Oh my god. I'd have to see that payment first. Don't waste your money. And then we'd have to wait a couple days so that it doesn't get charged back. I ain't falling for those tricks. No, no, no. Oh, <coughs> oh my god. I just swallowed my own spit. <coughs> Not the first time I've choked on that. <laughs> One second. Oh dear. See, that's a- Oh, even the geysers obey the wind. I have to do that. I will say, whether or not it gets charged back or not, if I see $5,000 donated right now, I'm- I don't- I think- I'm gonna have to do something big. Even if it does get charged back, I'm gonna react spicily anyway. I will. I promise that. I promise that. What did you say about your brush? Where is your brush? I am not sure. It's certainly not over here. Ooh, woo, oh, daddy. Oh, there's a new clip in chat. <laughs> Look at that. Ew, why would you do that? It's not like I didn't ask for it or anything. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I managed to get up there. Hmm. I managed to get up, and now all of a sudden, I've gone flaccid again. Look at that. Will you please stop saying I'm sorry. There's a lot of sexual content in this stream. I will make sure to, as I usually do, mark this one as not safe for kids. You never know what will happen on a stream. Like, what was that? What did you just throw at me? Why'd you throw a hat at me? What does this hat say? No, don't do that. This hat- Ow. Okay, if you can read this, thank the Phoenicians. 
It's a Disney reference. Ooh, ooh, oh, daddy, oh, daddy, it's so big. <clears throat> Excuse me, wow, that came out really weird. Oh, look at that, that thing bops me up in that direction, but if I scan the wall, I can... Oh, I did not mean to do that, but all of a sudden I did. How did I do that? Arabian nights, like Arabian days. That's really all the words of the song that I know, so... I did it. Dude, I love Aladdin. It's such a good one. Anna, wait, do you know any more lyrics to that one? Because I don't. It's so good. Consumption! And lucky you, the consumption is alcoholic this time. Mm, thank you for allowing me to enjoy that once more. Oh, you know what? It's funny, you know? I, I gotta think sometime. Ah, see with that next consumption, that's gonna be a... Mm -mm. These ones are all water. That one's all water this time. I've taken out the thingy. I've taken out the, um, what should I call it? The cooldown. Because I've realized I can just make my own decisions. Yeah. I could also technically deny it too, but like really, how, what's the fun in that? Like seriously, that just be, I, I'm not a tease like that. I'm like you. There you are. I'm not a tease. Anna's a tease. I'm not a tease. I'm not a tease. She says I'm a tease, but I'm not a tease. I'm not a bitch either! Sorry, I took personal offense to that one. Take off my pants? No. For all you know, I already have my pants off. Please stop undressing yourself right now. I'm sitting down. Oh, I have to wait for the thing to go back on. <laughs> Impromptu cheer for consumption! It's for consumption! Fuck it for bits. I'd like to preface. I like to preface this with this is completely upon my own accord. Nobody made me do this. This episode brought to you by Black Velvet. Do you want the ice cream? Hmm. Or not? Oof. Do I want ice cream? No. I want to know if I can eat the dairy-free ice cream or not. Yeah, you can eat that. You can eat that. There was one popsicle left in the fridge, so. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Excuse me. Wow. Look at that. Okay, so I need to keep the- oh, the wind is- the wind is howling! No! The wind was howling like the swirling storm inside! Couldn't keep it in! Heavens know that I had tried! Oh, there we go- no! This is taking more effort than I actually wanted to put into it. Oop, there- no! Wait, can I climb this? No, I, but I could somehow paint the clouds. But I guess I was always able to do that, wasn't I? Like that! No! Yeah, damn it! Show you the power! Okay, and then I have to wait for the... Just like... No! It requires precise timing. Timing with which I don't usually have. Consumption! I love consuming things. I'm running out of water. I'll have to get that a bit. Nope. <gasps> consumption! consumption! Consumption while I do reverse lunges! Yeah, I just knocked something off my wall, but it's okay. It's fine. We're all happy. I'm happy if you're happy. Also, I think it's perfectly obvious now that I am indeed wearing pants. So, I'm sorry to disappoint. Why wouldn't let me get up there? This is really bothersome. Consumption, goddammit. There we go. Why is this not working? This is taking an incredible amount of skill. Skill that I just don't have. What is going on? Maybe I have to paint it. If I paint it first, if I paint it first, perhaps that will be the secret to my, uh, to my everything. Or perhaps if I jump over, nope, that didn't work at all. I look like I'm riding dick. Well, you know, to each their, to each their own, I suppose. From my perspective, I'm doing reverse lunges as I was so requested to do, but from your perspective, if that looks like riding dick to you, then I can't stop your opinion. It wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time I've ridden dick. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fact check that. Somebody's gonna need to run an information audit on that. I'm not sure if I've actually ridden dick before. Well, actually... Nah, I really don't know anybody named Richard or anything like that. I'm trying to think of ways to interpret that statement that would make it correct in a way by saying I have ridden dick before. But of the things that I have ridden are cars, uh, other ports, uh, other, like, bits of transportation. Cars, buses, planes. Um, I've ridden a horse once, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't named Richard. Um... I don't know. 
information audit has been come back. Fact checker has confirmed that Cameron has ridden dick before. I don't know, was this an internal study or a third party one? Because I gotta be honest, like, if it was internal, then I feel like there's some biased results there. You know, you know, you know, that's why we, we, we audit with a third party to make sure that, you know, all right, I am totally doing something wrong over here. What am I doing wrong? Third party and internal. Consumption! I'm out of water. I guess this one's a drink this time. I'm going to hold Anna's pop for a moment. Okay, so I have to hold this pop, which makes me incapable of playing the video game. So instead, I'm going to hold this and centrally look it, lick it while staring at the camera until Anna fills my water bottle. This game is about food. It tastes like coconut. Oh my god. It is. It's a coconut pop. I told you it's dairy free. I can't eat dairy. This is my consumption. Anna's back. I need that. Oh my god. Well, that was wonderful. Dare me to eat all. Anna, I've been dared to eat the entire popsicle. No! My. Jeez. Somebody possesses the other popsicle. And from this day forth, I never messed with Anna's popsicle again. Jeez. What the hell am I built? I go over there and then I jump down, maybe? Can I jump up there? Oh, it's a god, Luigi! Maybe I. Nope, that. Hmm. I'm a little befuddled. I am a wee bit befuddled on how I'm supposed to get up there. There is definitely something. Eat a popsicle, but there's no more popsicles left. I can't follow through with that. There's no more popsicles. I have this party porn though. <laughs> wow, that was terrifying as well. I can have my popsicle. I can have the rest of the popsicle. Yay! I'm gonna eat it on full screen. Cause you're all a bunch of sickos. I did it. I'm gonna miss that. Those actually weren't that bad. Ugh. They're cold. Okay, I'm up here now. What am I supposed to be doing? I do not understand. Is there another direction I can go? There must be another direction. No? Wait, can I jump into the tree? I don't think I can jump into the tree. Wait a minute. That's actually a really good idea. Jump into the tree? No, there is no use jumping into the tree. Yeah. Because I, I can't get up into... Wait a minute. Wait! Wait a minute! Wait! Oh! Oh! I should have gone to the other cloud! Wow, I'm a dumbass! <laughs> wow! I am so dense! And then I jumped that way, and now I can go up. That's so... I was... Mm, Jesus Christ. Wow. I thought you already went through that one. I didn't go that way. Wow, that's that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> in my room. That's so funny. Like, Wait, what are you doing? You're hiding in your room? Yeah. I okay. Well, you probably got some studying to do, so I respect that. I gotta do neuro, and I gotta do ortho. Have fun with your neuro and ortho. I forget what ortho means, though. Orthopedics. Orthopedics. Nice. Tree looks like a decaying condom. I don't know what a decaying condom looks like. So I can't confirm nor deny that. I will say that it looks phallic with like, or you know what? What if I put a little, yeah, I don't know if that made it any better. Oh, I wonder if, oh, that's gonna fly off stage. So I bet if I, if I push the ball, push the ball, no, push the ball. I didn't push the ball hard enough. Okay, I'll push it again. Push ball. But no, I pushed it down the other direction. Impossible. It's an infected phallus. Somebody should really get that checked out. Damn the stupid ball. The ball was not successfully moved this time. But perhaps if I do it this way. Yes, ball. Ball, yes. Ball. Thank you, ball. Yes, ball. Uh, that's acceptable. How many bits does Jake need to give me for me to show the nipples? I don't know. 
I don't know. I think that's a question for Anna. I feel like she should be the one to determine the threshold on that. She, t I'm gonna, I, I feel she's basically got ownership of these nips. One of these nips are mine, and the other nip is Anna's. Let's just go with that. Hey, Chicory's here. Hi, Chicory. She, she says questionably, question mark. <laughs> I guess we need to have a discussion about boundaries. Technically, there is nothing. I, I don't see that there is any... I, I remember reading through the policy on Twitch, and I'm probably going to have to double-check that, because now I've seriously considered, potentially, not using a shirt on camera. Potentially. Not today. I need to double-check that. I don't think it's explicitly allowed. Just the tip. Only the tip and the nip. So, like, theoretically, right? And this is, this is not a question for you guys. This is a question for Twitch. This is the question for the Twitch overlords. If, if, if I had a shirt that had only the nipples cut out. I am wearing a shirt. It is not covering the nipples. Is that against TOS? That's my question. I, did, I don't know if I'll get a specific answer on it, but. Anyway, Chicory asks, I was wondering when you catch up. Ha ha! How'd you climb up here so fast? You don't even have brush powers. I've got strong legs. Do you see these calves? Do you see these, just my feet? My feet are the size of my head. Did you not realize that? <laughs> you feel ready to rise to the status of wielder? I'm not sure I even understand what that means. What's a wielder? What is status? What, what even are we? Are we actually animals? How does interbreeding work? I don't know. Anyway, so I guess the answer is no. When I think about a wielder, I don't think of someone like me. I think about someone strong. And, and cool. And confident. You thought I was a good wielder, right? The best! But now that you know me, do I really seem cool and confident to you? Because I feel like an emotional mess. And I'm pretty sure it's made itself obvious. Well... <laughs> uh, I, I do think you're strong, Chicory. You felt so terrible and frightened. But you're still here, helping me. That's strength. Well, you're still here too. Helping me. Now sit down and talk to Chikori. I understand what you mean about the strong wielder. That's who I wished I was too. I was trying to look so perfect. But I was so lonely. And afraid that if anyone ever saw the real me, the spell would be broken. And nobody would care about me anymore. That's what I thought had happened. When you saw me in the corruptions, I didn't think you'd ever come back. Chikori. Hold that thought, Chikori. If I show Ashley my nipples, they will not report it. Noted. There's a link to the community guidelines on sexual content nudity in the attire. Rules are that since I'm not presenting as, as presenting as a woman, there's nothing noted about nipples. Anna doesn't permit it though. But if they pay me to show my nipples, that sounds like prostitution. I don't know if I can stoop that low. Also, Jake, if we ever meet, you know for a fact. I'm bringing a dowel with me. I'm gonna bring... Uh, I'm gonna bring this dowel with me. And we'll fight to the death! With this dowel. Hiya. Hiya, hiya, hiya. That's what we'll do. And if I forget to bring the dowel, then I guess we'll have to improvise. Chicory, you know, you don't have to be perfect for anybody to care about you. I guess I came back because I thought we were friends. Thanks. For staying there and talking to me even though i was horrible to you i didn't deserve it but thank you i don't want things to get that bad again yes chicory chicory hold that thought <laughs> you guys think i don't know what sword fighting is that's when you whack your penises together duh i don't really know how to put this but i'm glad i got to see the real you Says Shushi Mac, says Chicory. I don't think I realized how little I knew about you before all this. You felt so above me back then, like a superstar. I know that's not the truth. I know you're just another person like me. But you're still also someone I admire. Who I want to learn from. Flaws and all. You don't have to hide that from me. I want to be able to be there for you. When you need it. Thanks, Sushi Mac. That means a lot. And the same to you. Ellipses. I'm gonna keep climbing. 
Good luck with the rest, Sushi Mac. I'll see you at the top. Now we're gonna pop, 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 pop to the top. Blah, 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 blah. I never watched High School Musical, but who cares? It's on the Disney list. I'll watch it eventually. Wait, why do you guys think just because I'm American that I don't know what sword fighting is? I don't think that's a local vernacular. Not to my knowledge, at least. The music just got so much more bumping. Bumping, dog, bumping. Oh, I see. I have to. I have to go with the winds. I have to go that way, and then I have to. Boop. That wasn't difficult at all. And then I bet I can go to the other way. What about blue waffles? Moldy vagina. Next. Listen, I was 13 once too when I had to look things up. Anna, I, I, Anna, I suggest you cover your ears and look away from the. I'm loud. I'm loud. Okay, well, cover your ears. This is not appropriate. You know, no, 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 no. Yes, you know, this is appropriate. It's family learning time. We're all gonna learn about what different things mean. And I'm the teacher, unless I don't know, in which case, I guess we'll look to the community for that and we'll have to look it up on Wikipedia in the Urban Dictionary. I guess that's just what we gotta do. Explosion. Oh, I gotta get up there. I see. Ball, ba 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 Nope, nope, ball, ba 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 Oh, that totally worked. Wait, that totally, yes. Oh my god, that worked perfectly. Your Twitch crashed! Oh no! I guess that means now you'll never know what blue waffles are. What about strawberry creams? Specifically strawberry creams? I'm gonna guess that has something to do with intercourse occurring during a menstrual period. There, I said that in the most kosher way I could think of. Because, like, strawberry... You get, you get it. That would be my interpretation. Another big present for me! I hope it's... Oh, cool. It's more things that pulsate. That's really cool, actually. That must use, like, a, like a nearest neighbor's algorithm. Ellipses. Yikes. Oh, 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 what? Was it really not that bad? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you love blue... Really? Coming from you, actually, I'm actually quite surprised. Hmm. Anyway... You know what? It's okay, because no matter who you are, or what you are, and what your preferences are, that's totally okay, because we are an all-accepting community here. Say it loud and proud! Do you like the blue waffles? Because if you do, be proud of it! Or if you're ashamed, then, I mean, you can be ashamed. You're, you're also allowed to be ashamed. Strawberry creams literally just means boobs. Oh, okay, okay, because I was under the impression that I was peppermint creams because there's a band that I listen to It's called ninja sex party. They have a song called peppermint creams and he talks about your peppermint creams And then screams at the end. It's your boobies, your boobalicious boobies It's a song by NSP starring Daniel Sexbang and Ninja Brian. I would re highly recommend Peppermint creams by ninja sex party it's it's good. It's Gucci Gucci gumdrops without the gumdrops. It's good. It's good. And if you farted while laughing, then that just means we're, we're providing premium quality content here, which is exactly what's on the menu. So you see, I, myself, and a fellow streamer friend of mine, and potentially family member, we're, let's just not get into it. His name's Thank, I guess. Um, and he, he and I pride ourselves on quilt premium quality content and although premium quality content doesn't necessarily have a distinct definition we're we're, we're kind of building it up we're, as we continue to you know make our brands and make our content we're determining what is premium quality content together premium quality content may as well be premium porn if that's the content that is being created now that's not the type of content you will see on this platform however follow me on my only fans and my chatter bait and we can talk details Ah, uh, see, there's some of y'all out there just like, oh, he's an OnlyFans? He's got a, he's got a Chatterbait? What even is that? Hilarious. I have neither, or do I? Hmm. Literally, that could change tonight. All it takes is a click of a button in one browser tab. That's all it takes. <laughs> and now we know. And as they say, knowing is indeed half the battle, or at least so I've been told. Ba 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 ba. Oh, we gotta explode! Explode! Ah, I didn't explode it properly. I'll keep my brush there. 
Ba 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 ba. Yes. And let's go up this tiny little gap. Yes, it's the top of the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. And then I use that to go over there. And then I use this to go over here. Uh, no, I missed my opportunity. I have to use the wind. The wind to my advantage. Boop. There we go. And then back we go to the cloud and the cloud... No, I should have waited. I didn't take my time like I told myself I was supposed to. I have to wait till I get up there. And then at just the right moment, bounce on over there. And then when it comes back again, like that. And then wait one more time. And then... Ah, yes. This is how we do. This is how we do it. I was actually... Speaking of, I guess... 18 plus streaming sites. I was actually having a conversation with somebody earlier today about one such site. There is there is another streaming site out there that I know of, and for non-disclosure reasons, uh, I'm just gonna say it's just it's just a streaming service out there. Um, it's built off of the same software that was used to create an 18 plus streaming website. But they rebranded it for something completely different. And when I heard that on the conversation earlier today, I was like, all right. It just shows that I guess even the internet can change if they want to, I suppose. And that was a really interesting like tidbit of information that I had learned from my call. It was pretty, it was, it was interesting. Interesting to say the least. I go with these wind currents once more. Let's uh, wind current that way over here. And then again, that's fine. Let's go over that way. Uh, I feel like I need to Keep the- keep the block- no, keep it blocked! Oh, I think I messed up! No, that's fine. Yeah, baby! Now I need another ball. Where'd ball go? Bring back ball to me. Oh, there's ball. Nice. No, ball don't kick- come back! Okay. Go down this way, and then... Don't- don't move a muscle! Don't move a ball damn muscle! Eh, yes. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you for complying with me, ball. Would you like to see my nostrils? These are my nostrils. There's really nothing up there. I clean my nose often. I don't think that's against rules, right? Are nostrils sexual? Is not Are nostril fetishes a thing? Because if they are, it's news to me. But, you know. To each their own. No, my ball exploded. It's unfortunate. I didn't ball enough. I needed to ball harder. I stand right here and then ball over there. Oh, but I also have to like... Oh, you know, this is what I gotta do. There we go. I gotta go up here to the wall. There we go. And then I gotta push it up. Sticking dwarf knob. Whoa, whoa. I'm pretty sure knob is slang for phallus. I will not be sticking dwarf phalluses up in my nostrils. That just sounds unsanitary. We're all about keep- I mean, so long as I wash myself afterwards, I suppose everything is okay. It really depends, I suppose. I think what's really- like, what's really keeping me back from that is the fact that I don't have- CONSUMPTION! I don't have access to- Dor uh, dwarf knobs on me. So, like, even if I wanted to, I really can't. I'm so sorry. I can't provide like that. I don't have the proper resources. If I could, you know I would. But I just can't. I don't have them on me. How much would that even cost? It feels like it's more than I'd make on a streamer's budget. Oh, you are... Oh, I gotta wait. Oh, there... Nope, that didn't work at all. There we... No, stop that! The timing is off. Nope. There we go. No, I don't run out of time! No, stop! Yes. Oh, that worked. I'm almost to the top of the mountaintop! Whoa, that didn't work at all. That wasn't at all what I had expected. To be thrown to the ground like that. Interesting! Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, that totally worked, and I was not expecting it to, but you know what? I will take that. I will take that. 
Awesome. Big flowers exploding on the peak. Peak performance. Ashley has a dwarf nub. Yeah, but like Ashley's like Ashley's overseas. That's so much money. Attend I wouldn't be purchasing the dwarf dwarf knob. I would be purchasing the ticket to experience the dwarf knob. It's a lot of money, you know? Plank tickets aren't so bad. I'm sorry, dear, what was that? What am I talking about? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry yourself about it. Let's not worry her about it. I don't think there's a need to worry anybody about it right now. We've all got what we've got. We're all hiding something under our trousers. I know I am. I don't know what it is yet. I've never seen. If I knew what was hiding under my trousers, I feel like I'd be I'd benefit from that. But answer a lifelong question of mine, and that is Are you a boy or a girl? All this time I thought it was just or. I thought the answer the inclusive or was the right one. When they ask you in Pokemon, are you a boy or a girl? What's the proper answer? If you're neither. I am a boy. I definitely have male parts in my trousers. It was it was a bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for leading you on. I got ear flaps. <laughs> Just because of the name, I'm gonna wear ear flaps. I like that. Ashley is scared. My uncle's hands. I don't particularly like my uncle. Not a very nice guy. I don't talk to him very often. If I had to come face to face with his hands again, I'd meet them with these fisticuffs. I really actually wouldn't meet them with these fisticuffs. I'm not really, I'm not really a physical kind of guy. I would use my words. I would use my words. My, my mouth is what does all the fighting for me. Hmm. Smells, still smells great. The Italians, man. The Italians, right? Jeez, those stam Italians. I'm Italian. The context is that I'm Italian. Or at least mostly I'm Italian. Italian. It's Italian, it's German, and then a melting pot of, like, a little bit of Russian. There's Czechoslovakian in there. Um, if you're the kind of person who who says that, like, Judaism... Or not Judaism is the religion, but Jewish can be an ethnicity as well as just a religion, then there's, there's Jewish in there as well. But let's just call it... Um, what, Israeli, I suppose? Because, like, Israel is, like, the the place, right? Is that the, that's the place? I don't know. I'm not really a religious guy. I wouldn't really know. Yeah, my mouth does all the fighting for me. Anytime there's any sort of... Actually, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. Ha! Phew, you're almost there. The peak is just up ahead. You can relax in the spring, too, if you want. Uh, but don't ride down the waterfall. It's a shortcut to the bottom of the mountain. Unless you feel like climbing again. <laughs> okay, I'll see you up ahead. Peace out, dog. Get it, dog, because I'm a, I'm a dog. I am a dog. I'm sorry, but I am dog. I am doggo indeed. Um, so nothing benefits me here. Nothing benefits me here. The Jews are in the end. Nah, come on. No, 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 no. Ooh, there's some heated discussion. Some heated stuff. Go well, people are getting, like, nice and horny down there in the chat. Well, that's why I'm up here. That's why I am all up here. High above. Really, Chicory? You you just waited for me to take go one more screen over? Dog. Dog. You did it, Sushi Mac. You did it. This is the peak. It's so quiet. Yeah. I love it. There's one last part to this trial. Ellipses. We're gonna sing a song together. Huh? I... I'm not... I'm really not much of a singer. That's okay. It's an ancient wielder anthem. I don't remember the words, though. So we might just kind of have to make it up. We're meant to stand at the edge and look out at the view as we sing. My hand will be on your back. Your feet will be... Um, in a in a bent and elbowed position and all you need to do is if you feel like you're falling just let it happen That's the song Make your way to the edge when you're ready uh, Head to the edge of the peak when you're ready. I'm excited to hear your singing voice. Haha <laughs> I Want to trust you I really do I got a bad feeling Ready to finish this 
All right, you are absolutely pushing me off the edge. I can feel that. Ready to finish this trial and move on? Yes, I am ready. What's going on? What are we doing? Are we singing? Are we actually singing songs or are you pushing me off the edge? Oh. Oh, we're actually doing songs. When do we get a, get a day in the life of Cameron? I don't know yet. Oh. Standing on the mountaintop. Mountaintop. The world looks so small. I don't know. Oh. They're watching. Me. But they can't see how... Oh, I just have to have the paintbrush in the circle. I don't have to, like, do it on rhythm. That's convenient. At all. This is kind of cute. This is lovely. I'm kind of glad, too, that this isn't one of the... Oh, what the... Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I ran out of paint. I don't know if I was doing that right. There we go. I like this particular type of rhythm because it's not like they ruin the song if I don't get it on beat. Oh, I missed it. That wasn't too bad. First time hearing a song? Not too bad. I don't think that's too bad at all. Well, that was very pleasant. Oh. I'm really glad it didn't end with me being pushed off the cliff. Chapter 7 The Wielder Trials, Part 2. Let's, let's keep on keeping on. We shall keep on keeping on. So the question that we've got down there is, when do we get a day in the life of Cameron? Honestly, do you really want to just see me, see me sitting at my desk just, like, doing work all day? Doesn't really sound like a lot of fun. I, like, I literally sit there, I sit there quietly for the most part. Every so often, my fiancé will come in and we will converse with each other. But I will mostly sit there at my desk with my music playing in the background. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what, that's kind of what I do when nobody else is around. Yeah. It sounded like I was humming Dancing Queen by Ozzy. <laughs> da, 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 the Dancing Queen. Only 17. Thank I guess says yes. Actually, if we're doing something like that, it might as well be a mukbang. Social eating is something that Thank I guess vouches for literally all the time. I do nothing but computering. I just sit at my computer all day. Let's see my computer. I don't think I actually know. I can't even do that because the stuff I worked uh, the stuff I work on is under NDA, so I can't do that. I like to obfuscate all of it. Well, you know, Sushi Mac, you really had nothing to worry about. Your singing voice is actually really nice, although it sounded a little bit like like Dancing Queen by ABBA. But you know what? We can work with that. Thanks. Yours is a yours is a yours is a really you're a really nice singing voice too, I guess. Congratulations, Sushi Mac. You just finished your first wielder trial. That's a huge first step. I'm kind of glad I got through it, too. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a lot more confident attacking the other three at the other quarters of Picnic. I'll be waiting at the next one. Achievement unlocked. Standing on the top of a mountain! When I bite into a York Peppermint Patty, I feel like... Like I'm standing at the top of a mountain peak. Honestly, when I feel like when I eat bite into a York peppermint patty, I feel like I'd rather be eating an Andy's mint. Personally. Whew. 
Whoosh. Yo, what's up, Frago? Frago? What's up with this trash, dude? Yo, Frogman, I don't know what your name is, but you're just gonna sit there while there's litter in the world? What's wrong with you, man? Why don't you pick that shit up? What's the matter with you? Frog Detective. Well, hi there. I'm the Frog Detective. Hi there! Before you ask, I can't help you solve any mysteries right now. I'm actually here on vacation. I do really love to solve mysteries, but it's important to take breaks sometimes too. Even from the things that you love. That's really fair and really responsible. Why, thank you. No problem, buddy. I'm gonna pick up your trash, though. Piece of shit. Not cleaning up after yourself. Hey, look, we've got a clay... Uh, I can't even speak words. A clip of me singing Dancing Queen! I don't know the full words of that song you so... Sorry. I only know part of it. What is this gook on the ground? What is this gook? I'm gonna get up there. I want that... I want that treasure trove. If I sit here, what'll happen? It's, yeah, PPPH. It's a properly plaid party hat. Duh. It's funny. I've got infinite PPPHs. I had to... It just it just wouldn't work, you know? It was. It's an abbreviation type thing. Excuse me one moment. <coughs> wow. I, I didn't think I could have... I, I couldn't have hid that one. I apologize for my transgressions. Hey, frog boy. Frog man? You're probably a frog man. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. I can go up this way. Indeed. PPPHs. Properly plaid party hats. Or whatever else. If you can come up with another set of words that fit that acronym, it's also completely valid. And there's a lot. There's three Ps in there. So you've got room for improvement. You've got room to work with. It's a catastrophe! Is it really, my friend, Butterscotch? This resort is done for! I tell you, it's done for! No, no. That may be a bit of an ex exaggeration. I would never exaggerate! We're the victims of grand larceny! All the furniture on our presidential suite was stolen! Everything is hopeless! I'm on the case because apparently your detective is on vacation at the worst possible time. I don't know anything about investigating, but I'll try to help. I've got, um, I've got this paintbrush. <laughs> Does that help? Oh, thank goodness! Please, come to see for yourself! Oh, there's nothing in the room. Wow, it's really empty. Yes, it is! And VIP guests are coming any time now! You've got to begin the investigation right away! Luckily, I've seen enough TV to know how that works. You need to take photos of evidence! Okay, sure, yeah, I can do, I can do that. What's evidence? What? Uh, there's a piece of evidence right here! Oh, it's that black gunk on the ground. Open up your camera, zoom in, and snap a picture to collect the evidence. Including this. I imagine there's four pieces of evidence around Simmer Springs. Uh, good luck. Okay. Oh, actually, one more thing. If you have any space to spare decor, could you place them here? I'll remain to oversee the redesign of the presidential suite. Thank you. You're welcome, I suppose. PPPHS stands for Personal Prostitution Penalty Halting Services. So, so like, the penalties of my prostitution will be haunted halted so that i can prostitute without problem i think that's i think that's the implication it's always a question of the implication now let's put a couple of stuff here i think you need a floor you need floor yeah here's a floor there's a floor i think you need seats so people can actually sit down how about how about this um how about this love seat oh yeah nice love seat need some objects too like, uh, like, like a bed with flowers all over it. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, don't you love it now? Um, so I gotta take out my camera. How do I do camera button? How do I... Uh, oh, camera button. There we go. I just gotta... Uh, yeah, I gotta go, go in there. There we go. Pictures of the evidence. Picture! Yeah, just like that! Now go find the other pieces of evidence! Okay. Yes, 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 ma'am. Queens, Queens, please help me. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Of course. Where were you when all the stuff went missing? I was on a break. 
I had stepped out to get a breath of fresh air. When I came back, Miss Butterscotch was in a fit. That's when I found out what happened. A likely story. I know. It is extremely likely. It's very likely and also true. Well, okay then, consumption. Let me know when you found all the evidence. Gotcha, Queen Say. Yes, indeed, addressed to me, Cameron. I am Cameron. As LEO, the liaison executive officer. The li 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 Leo, we can remove any prostitution penalties. You wonderful. Queef. Okay. That's a fart from the front. To, to what I understand, at least. I need to find the rest of this evidence. I know there was evidence up here. I guess I'll take a picture of that. <gasps> evidence! Now we must do the evidence. Evidence. Move to the evidence. Picture. Nice. Nice. That's two pieces of evidence. I wonder when the others will be. There must be more evidence in Zion Simmons Brings. Did I see any of that? Oh, look, more people to talk to. What's up, egg? I like climbing. That's why I live here. I get to go for a nice hike every morning. Nothing grounds me even more. Feeling the dirt between my toes? Ah, yes. Have you been up the desert mountain? It's so huge. There's tons to explore. Uh, higher up, there's more hot springs. Yeah, I've even been up the beak once, you know? Huh? Yep, that's a tough climb for sure. Yeah, for sure. When you're out there exploring, uh, don't forget to slow down sometimes. Stop for a while. Listen to the world around you. Sometimes the world has messages for you. One time, the world told me to kill my father. My father was already dead, but... Ah, the wind. You'll find there's lots to appreciate. Egg, you scare me. I wonder what's in this cave. Um, hey, pal, that's a hell of a lot of evidence you've got beneath you. Um, mind if I take a pic? Hey, buddy. Um, what's your name? What's your name, pal? Chili? Hey, Chili. Pal? Do me... Oh, I walked out. Hey, Chili. Chili, my friend. Could you do me a bit of a favor? I'm gonna need your consent for something. But can I take a picture of those toes? Yeah. Just like that. Nice. Hey! What are you doing taking pictures of my toes there? I don't recall giving you permission to take pictures of my toes. My cave and my toes absolutely have nothing to do with any sort of stolen goods, so why the hell would you be taking unsolicited candid pictures of that? I mean, if you're gonna do that, you should at least post them and tag me. You gotta tag me. Pretty sure that's against the law somehow. You know, stealing shit. And taking pictures of people's toes. That's ridiculous. You seem the one to be really suspicious. Well, I mean, there's a huge pile of evidence beneath you. The only evidence I see is a really suspicious photographer with a currently developing picture of what looks to be my luscious phalanges. You probably stole all the furniture from the resort and then tried to blame them on me and my beautiful toes. What? No, no, I didn't say anything about the resort. Like, at all. Consider yourself an official suspect, sir. Yeah, well... O okay. Hi. I love to steal. It's the funnest thing ever. If you need anything stolen, really, anything at all, just let me know. Other hobbies besides stealing? Well, let me think. Um... I do enjoy video games from time to time. Truly the scum of the earth. One more piece of evidence remains. And I wonder where it could be. Hello, friends. Do you have any details on where I can find evidence? I must find evidence. Hello. Biscuit and gravy? Oh, that is so cute! Because a biscuit and gravy are a classic combination! I love that! We're adventurers, if you couldn't tell. Treasure hunters, to be more specific. We scour a picnic looking for treasure. Yeah, uh, we have our own treasures too. Top secret treasures. Um, hey, do you want to know about them? Yes. Okay. Our treasure's hidden across the entire picnic province. I'll show those secret places to you now. Oh, I see. They're the secret treasures. Ah, I see. I put all those photos in your camera map, so check them anytime there. And 
if you do find those places, do some LED one flexions to make it up to yourself because you're a little piece of sh oh, My GBU box was blocking my, my thing. Time to do some LED one flexions. Hey, look, sunglasses on the floor. There we go. Uh, I forget how to do these, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. Maybe it's this one. Oh, yeah, it's these ones. That, that's one. That's the LED one flexions. I do that, yeah. You will have to tap repeatedly on the marked spot to reveal the treasure. That's the secret! Good luck finding them. Thanks, Biscuit and Gravy. Keep an eye out for treasure, but put the hints on your camera. Remember? I remember now. I remember now. Now time to the other side of the LED one flexions. I don't know what any of those words mean, but, you know? It's kind of just like you... Lower extremity. D1 is just the division. And flexion, and, and flexion is bending and twisting. It's just bending. bending. Okie dokie. Well, now we all know. Thank you, fiance, for screaming that at me from across the, just across the place. We had to learn somehow, and now we know. Oh, can I get up there? I don't think I can get up there. What if I jump off that building? Can I jump off that bit? I can't jump off that building, unfortunately. Well, I've done my fluxions. I've successfully accomplished my flexions. This is a good thing. This is a positive thing. This is a very positive thing. I'm still looking for more evidence. Where could the evidence possibly be? Maybe there's one more piece of evidence. Uh, maybe it's with Detective Frog. You got some evidence, Mr. Frog? No. Oh, I never figured out how to get up there. Oh, you know! But I know how to get to that other piece of treasure. I just gotta go this way. And th Oh, no, I don't. Wait a minute. I can't climb that. I cannot climb that, can I? That's not a wall to climb. That is not a wall to climb. Oh, but I can climb this building! Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on the top of the roof. Awesome. To the roof! Hey, God. Oh, you look cute up there. What's going on, pals? Hey. Hey, y'all. Teff and... Teff and Nutmeg. It's cute. We came to Summer Springs for the famous sky view. Had this trip booked for months. But... I have to admit, it's probably not the same without color. No. So I'm glad we caught you here. Could you color the sky back in? Make it as beautiful and romantic as possible. No, Meg, you, you can't just ask the wheel to do things like that for you. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Everybody does. It's just what I do. So, let's get all patternistic with it. Like wiggly lines. It's a new brushstroke. Look at this shit. Nah, I don't really like that, actually. Um, this is to draw straight lines, and that's scatter, but I want this one. Let's do this now. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. First, we're gonna make it red. We're gonna make the entire sky red. Then we're gonna pattern it up with a different color. A nice red sky. With yellow. Yellow on red is pretty, uh, pretty hot, right? Oh, it's yellow with, oh, yellow is the background. I see. So now it's yellow with that, and now I'm gonna draw pictures in the sky. What is romantic? What is romantic? Well, you see? A big ol' heart. Wow, that was terrible. A big ol' heart. Or what could very well look like a heart. Is very romantic. There we go. Isn't that romantic? It's got a little arrow going through it. There we go. Look at that arrow. That's a beautiful arrow. Beautiful, beautiful arrow. Look at that. Never seen a more beautiful arrow in my life. Pierces through the heart, comes out the other side. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Oh, man! Is the sky painted you how you wanted? Yeah. I, I'm inclined to believe it is. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Wow! Wow. The sound of the city revving up at night. Mixed with this heart thing in the sky is just so romantic. I can't believe we get to be here to see you paint it. We're the first people to ever see the sky. This trip wound up even more special than we had hoped. Ha, huh, it's true. Thanks so much. You're so welcome. I used to come here every year with my family. Our favorite thing to do was look at the sky. It was so exciting. Last year when it changed, 
after Chicory became the wielder. And now it's changed again. Two in a row. I feel really lucky. It really is so beautiful. But not as beautiful as you, baby. <laughs> you must have waited a long time to use that one. Seriously, that was pretty bad. <laughs> so long. You know what else is so long? You can guess. <laughs> You're so funny. I love you, sweetie. I love you too. Oh. Ah, uh, the things they, uh, the things that Anna's got to do to make me exercise. I run on Tuesdays. Add a second day on Fridays. Yeah, we couldn't run today. Anna was out of class all day, so instead, we're gonna probably run sometime on the weekend. Fridays and Saturdays. Hey, but why do why do that? Why run two days in a row? Then it doesn't become special. You gotta space things out. You know? That's exactly why I'm just trying to st stream a little less, actually. Because I gotta space things out a bit. It just doesn't feel special if you do it like it feels like a job. You know? I've made my decision. And your and of, of course, Anna's knees would probably kill her. My knees would probably kill me. I think I'll be fine. Tap it! That's fine. Uh, no evidence up here, though. No evidence. And I can't jump down. Oh, come on. Maybe there was another area over here. Oh, look, everybody's hanging over here now. Yo, Cardamon, what's up, buddy? What a nice sky. I heard and wanted to come see for myself. Do you put a lot of thought into what you're doing? What you're drawing? Oh, definitely only some. It makes sense to me. If you think it's too much, it's stressful. But if you didn't care at all, it wouldn't turn out well either. Your approach is probably the best. Thanks, Cardamom. I really appreciate you. Peppermint! Wow! <laughs> Leave it to the sushi back to paint a sky as gorgeous as this! <laughs> Ooh, I wish I knew about more about art. I can't put into words the feelings your work gives me. All I know is, it's good! I love it! Thank you, Peppermint. Float? Oh, I can just float for a little- Oh, that's nice. Sheeks, yeah. Currently, it's true. D uh, D uh, Disney Quan and I are currently at a 30 minute 5k. I gotta get to the distance up before we can work on speed! Great. XBP. Jake loves how the NHS tried to encourage the people of Britain to do a couch to a, to do a couch to five ten k. Wow, interesting. I'm guessing that's like the National Health Association, right? I'm not familiar with that particular acronym, but I would only imagine. Jump out of there. Can I actually go down? Oh, I can. Oh, hey. Oh, sweet. Interesting. There's a. I'm now on the back of the thing. Well, this is interesting. I'm at the back of the tower. Who knew? <gasps> There's evidence in the back! Uh, National Health Service. I've learned something new today. And for that, I thank you. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this evidence real quick. There we go. Evidence! It's evidence! I found all four pieces. Hmm. What? What? What is it? Th there's plenty of suspicious bunch of evidence around you there. Uh, uh, evidence? Uh, what are you doing back here anyway? Oh, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I think I'm lost. So you don't know anything about missing furniture? No, 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 no I don't. Exactly what a criminal would say. You're free to go for now, but you're officially a suspect as well. I, n I've never been suspected of something before. Um. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess I'll do my best. Did what? Alrighty then. Litter! And more litter! I'm picking up the trash! Let's go in there. Can I not go in there? I feel like I should be able to go into this little door here. Oh, it says don't, no entry. Oh, that's the big sign on there. Technically, if we can do at least 30 minutes of exercise, I'm set. That could be 30 minutes of walking. I mean, we do walk, it. We walk quite often, honestly. I don't know if it's 30 minutes worth every day on average, but... Hmm. Interesting. Ah, okay. I was responding to Anna's comments in the other room. Supply entirely free healthcare for a small payment per month, 10 to 60 uh, pounds. Or if you're low on income slash disabled, etc. They don't charge anything and supply the exact same care. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We've learned some more stuff new today. Queens have found your litter. 
Oh, it looks like you found all the evidence and you're ready to begin the final interrogation. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you, Queen Say. Queen Che? Hey, everybody. Now, let's begin the interrogation. Oh, I already figured out who did it. Uh, um, are, are we sure? It was obviously chilly. What? I, hey, hey, hey. That's not fair. You can't just decide that based on such flimsy evidence. Oh, I was excited to be interrogated, too. <laughs> it's fun. Fine. Rice, did you steal the furniture? Oh, why? No, no, I, I didn't. I didn't do it. <laughs> then how do you explain this evidence? I found that outside just, just when you did. <laughs> it looks like... Hmm. Squeeze. Consumption! Squeeze? You know, the, uh, the, the sweet liquid from inside fruit. Yes, I know what squeeze is. But, but, but why would squeeze be all over Simmer, Simmer Springs? It makes no sense. Because I stole it! Aha! So you did steal the furniture. Huh, no! No, I wish I stole the furniture. But I did steal a bunch of squeeze. That's why it was all over my feet! Ellipses! Why would you steal squeeze? Because I love to steal! It's a fun and rewarding activity. I feel like we're losing the plot. Was there any plot to begin with? Evidence! There was squeeze at the scene the entire time! And Quince is shivering uncontrollably. And some behind the resort, strangely. The only other place I found Squeeze was out by the hot springs. Chili, are you saying you spilled Squeeze in all those places? Oh, no. Uh, just my cave. I don't know anything about that other stuff. Oh, then the culprit, it must have been... <sighs> yeah, I got no idea. <laughs> I think I give up. Okay, I admit it. I was just checking on the presidential suite while enjoying my favorite squeeze. When disaster struck, I spilled the squeeze everywhere, and I just couldn't clean it up. No matter what I tried, those guilty stains remained. So I got desperate, and I thought the furniture just needed a bath. So I dragged it all behind the resort and out to the hot springs, and I dumped it all in the water. And everything sank to the bottom instantly. It's gone. It's all gone. And it's all my fault. And I'm... I'm the worst hotel employee. I'm so sorry, everyone. Dude, chill. Chill, dog. Queenche. I don't know how to pronounce that. Maybe it's Queench? It's okay, dearie. What, what? It's okay. I forgive you. It was terrifying when I thought we'd been robbed. Knowing that it was just you, well... I'm relieved. We have Sushi Mac to replace all the furniture anyway. So, you know, whatever. We can just extort him for all we can. Wow, I'm right here, dude. Ellipses. <laughs> Ahem. <clears throat> uh, I see. Um, well, uh, that would be all, then. Uh, thank you all for coming. And thank you, Sushi Mac, for your diligent interrogation. We can consider this case officially closed. Nice. Turn about squeeze. Queen, so what else do I have to say for yourself? Thank you again. I certainly regret some of my choices here today. I'd really appreciate your discretion concerning my unfortunate habit of imbibing vast quantities of squeeze. I literally can't stop squeezing. It's unbecoming for an esteemed employee such as myself to consume that much squeeze. In other news, the only thing that the NHS doesn't cover is cosmetic surgery, unless this causes you additional health problems, depression, etc. Okay. So, like, I guess that would be the case, or, like, if uh, if you have some sort of, like, facial... Um, I think the term is dysmorphia, where... or, um... There's a word for it. I don't remember what the word is. Maybe there's some sort of dysphoria for it. There's a word for it. But, like, when you look at yourself in the mirror, like, you actually get, like, like mental problems from it. Or you have, like, a mental, a mental reaction to it. I guess that's when they would cover cosmetic surgery. Is the way I'm interpreting that? I think. Yo, chill out there. Yeah, that's a lot of them. Uh, 
That was a lot of them out there. It's just still going. Oh my god. This must have been one of their biannual motorbike. I don't even know what happens to this shit anymore. Anyway, that rapscallion Chili has been an annoying presence here for some time. Perhaps he hasn't stolen from us, but I'm sure that someday he will. And we'll be ready. So I'd hope that this investigation could oust him from Simmer Springs. Alas, my guilty conscience took over. My noble, honest soul. I suppose one mystery still remains. Just where did Chili steal that squeeze from? Wait a moment. M my screen storage. Could he have? <gasps> Chili! It's okay, dude. You'll get more squeeze. Queens has worked here for a long time. Uh, f frankly, I, I don't think this place could run without her. So I I'm willing to not cry over spilled squeeze. <laughs> Let bygones be bygones. And hopefully that never happens again, though. Let's only hope so. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you all very much for your time. I really appreciate that. Transit bench. Let's see what happens down the mountain. There's more wielder trials to go to. Hey, wait a minute. There's a thing down there. There's a special thingy. I gotta hit it. Right? Is this the right place? I thought this was the right place for special. Oh, you know what? I probably already picked this one up. Yeah, that's it. But there's a child in here. Child. 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 Please. Child. 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 Come out of there, child. Child, come out of there. Now that you've come out of there, now we can play games. I like to call this game, I pick you up and deliver you to some old man. It's fun for the old man. Fun for me. I don't think it's very fun for you. I'm sorry, young one. Yo, what's up, dude? What are you doing? How do I get out of here? I want to vacate the premises. There we go. Oh, wait, you know, I never figured out how to get up there to that thingamabob. Uh, I'm not really worried about it right now. What's up, Brussels Sprout? Yo, well, this is kind of embarrassing. I came here to study your work. I didn't think I'd run into you here. Um, um, uh, uh, really, really not sure what to say. It's really nice. Thanks for, um, coloring everything. You're welcome, bud. I appreciate you, man. Why can I not? Oh, you know what I gotta do? This is what I gotta do. I gotta get up on top of that building there. And then go over here. Now I have access to this side. And now that I have access to this side, I can move to this side and obtain another child. Nope, not down there. But obtain another child. Who knows what, a ch what this child would be good for? Maybe we'll harvest its energy. Yes. That sounds smart. Actually, I probably should have gone to the transit bench. I'll have to find another transit bench. In the meantime, I guess I'll just... Find more trash elsewhere. Over here in the AP foothills! Oh, you know, actually, have I been here recently? Be able to go up there? No, I can't go that way. Alrighty, then. I'll just party my way along until I find something new and find the next wielder trial of the evening. Actually, let me look at that map again. So I was at, I went to Summer Springs and that was Desert Peak. That was that corner. So I do have to go in that direction for the other one. But I guess I'll go down south to Gulp Swamp and see what I can find near Potluck. Hello, Potluck. Are there any more people around here? Yo, what's up, Salt? Hey, here for our special promotional item. We'll feast your eyes. Clothing storage. Oh, nice. That's right. Open up the dress up screen with start and you can put clothes in and out of storage. Think of all the extra space you can make. And that's not all. When storage is closed, you can star clothing items. Star clothing will group together on the dress up screen. It makes browsing and sorting clothes a total breeze. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. You're welcome, Salt. Always happy to pop in and see what other kind of goodies you got hanging out for me. 
Nothing through the door. Oh, you know what? I can go in the water now. Which means I can go into that building. Ooh. Swim time. I won't die. There's a ton of trash in here. Who lives here? Who could possibly live like this? There's so much litter. There's so many good stuffs. Nice. Thank you for letting me go into your house, sir. It was probably your house. Whoa! There's currents pushing me away. The big drink! Oh, get it? Because it's, it's an ocean. And if this is about food... A drink is technically a dish, I suppose. I guess, am I supposed to... No, I, I, I don't touch the... Don't touch the... Do not touch the fishies! The fishies do not like being touched. I feel like it's only appropriate for me to paint absolutely everything blue. Unless, do I have a sand color? Nope, I just got blue colors. Oh, that's a nice dark blue. Oh, that's the... Oh, interesting. I didn't want to do that, but now it's all blue again. Cool. Oh, only the... Oh, that's the bottom of the island! I understand now. There's so much trash over here, it's crazy! Who knew there'd be so much trash on a deserted island? There's literally nobody here. How would this... How would this happen? I just... I don't understand. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. If I color up here... Then I can squirt my way around the back of these little, uh, little places over here. Yeah, there we go. And then... Squirt! And then squirt again. Squirt! There we go. Gift gotten, and it's a sunny tea. <laughs> You just can't match the power pack taste of Sunny Tea! Unleash the power of my clothing. Oh, can't go that way. What's my map looking like? No, I want the map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Oh, okay, I'm just mystery. Alright, enough. Well, this isn't the right panel to be on. I'm on the wrong screen! I should be on a completely different screen! Like this one! On another deserted island! Who knew? Who knew that I'd find something like this? A deserted island in the middle of the ocean? Unthinkable. Oh, are you a little crab? You're a little crab! Oh, you're cute. Well, now that we've discussed this, uh, can't go down that way. Can go up this way. Ah, uh, another area I haven't been to yet. Getting Wind Waker vibes. Just traversing the ocean. Isn't it beautiful? Hey, look, another island. Isn't it beautiful? Islands, beautiful. Deserted lands, beautiful. We love, we love to see it. Love to see deserted islands. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. I like, I like deserted islands. Hey, it's Chicory! I'm in the right place! Awesome, thanks. But first, I have to clean up all these trash. Like that one. And, and is there trash down here? Oh, but I should probably talk to Chicory first. Yo, what's up, Chickster? <clears throat> Excuse me. There you are, Sushi Mac. There's a trial all the way out here? Yep. <laughs> Welcome to Spoon's Island. The theme of this trial is... Finding your path as a wielder, or something like that. Locating this place is just the first step. There's a lot of old wielder stuff here. Uh, you'll have to find your way to the heart of the island. And, well... No, I'll just leave the rest to you. See you up ahead. Peace out, Chickster. Really appreciate you being here. What a pal. You're awesome, dude. But you know what isn't awesome? Littering. So think twice before you throw that wrapper wherever the hell you are right now. Consider finding the proper receptacle for such a piece of item. Oh, wow. This is a very vibrant, vibrant green. I like vibrant, vibrant greens. Oh, look at... Oh, would you look at that? Oh! I can control this while standing on top of it. Interesting. So if I push this one up and that one up, uh, can I bounce over that way? I can't. Maybe... Now, there's probably no momentum here. But if I go over here, or go up here, I bounce over there, and then I do this one, and I get access to the present! The gift that's hanging there for us! Clothing collector. Two stars. Island. Yeah, man. Reminds me of my vacation. That was fun. But I'm honestly glad to be back. I was too far away from all of my toys. 
I like my toys. And by toys, I mean, you know, my computers and my printer and all of my pieces of paper to draw stuff on. All my colored pencils and markers. I should really do another drawing stream sometime. I really enjoyed the last one that I did. And a couple of months later, after looking at all the analytics of the stuff that gets popped up after the fact, all the VODs that wind up getting popped up after the fact, I wind up looking at the analytics and that and see, like, you know, what are people into? And uh, apparently, there seem to be people out there into art streams and drawing things, drawing things instructionally. And I'd be happy to do more of that because I really enjoy it. Drawing had always been one of those things that I would do, like, if I was listening to a really good song, like, I always had a hard time listening, like, just listening to music. I felt like I had to be doing something in addition to the music. And so what I would do is I would just listen, I'd listen, I'm sorry, I would, um, I'd draw a picture. And that felt like me being productive enough to be able to do those two things at once. Because both of them on their own, or rather, I guess drawing on its own feels pretty productive. But listening to music on its own doesn't feel very productive. But from a mental health standpoint, it absolutely is. Music is one of my favorite ways to cope with literally anything. And get myself encouraged to do things. That's why I listen to very upbeat music when I go running, because it's uh, especially like alternative hard rock stuff like that. It makes me angry. Angry enough to want to feel the burn. Feel the burn while running. Uh, then I gotta cool down on that too, because I tend to get a little aggressive like that. And I don't like being aggressive. I like to be as chill a person as possible, if I can. If I can manage it. And, uh, you know, I'm only human, so. Can't always manage that now, can we? Now, how is there a payphone in the middle of this island? That's crazy. But I must find my way to the heart. Uh, oh, it seems that there's an activation somewhere over here. What does this button do? That pushes me that way. One of these. Some of these. Oh, I bet I know how this works. It's gonna click a button. I'm gonna click a button. That's a toggle. Oh, they're already- they're all up there. Interesting. What if I erase that one? Yeah, yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would be. Oh, reset. That's what that's- well, don't I need to- don't I need to be standing on top of one of these things in order to get on top of it? I need to be standing on top of this. It's a little click, and now I've got that. Oh, that one's a different color now. Maybe... I don't know. Feels about right. Maybe. No. Oh, okay. Not sure why that one's white, and the other one is not. Oh, there's a rock in the way. Oh, I understand. There we go. And I did do that, right? Oh, but no, that doesn't work like that. Can I climb up that surface on the far right? Is that something climbable? It's not climbable. My question is like... Because I can't activate it from here. Resets the switches in the room? I mean like... No, there's no need to. I can just reverse them myself. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Oh, well, I guess... I, I don't know. I'm going to do one at a time. I did that. And nothing happens. Oh, never mind. I need to use that thing. I need to use this to get on top of it. Okay. Okie dokie. I need this one, this one, this one, and this one. Nope, not that one. Not that one. This one. There we go. Then I can go over here. I can climb up that way. Go that way. Then I have access to that. Oh, but then... Hmm, you know... How am I supposed to get up there, then? Because I can't come this way through this block unless I go back and deactivate. I need that block. But that's okay. I will go this way and see if there's any treasures. That seems to be the way I'm supposed to go. So... Oh, but that's the other thing, too. I can't get up on top of here if I do this block. Because I'll be blocked from entering. Unless there's something else that works with those lines in the ground that I'm not particularly catching on to. But I suppose I will move on for now and come back and try to figure out the rest of that puzzle later. 
These look like... Yeah, I figured that was going to be the case. But there's a bunch of rocks on top of them. So how does that help me? I can climb this way. Oh, and I can climb on top of these. Nice. So I can climb this way, up onto here. I can... Do that. Jump that way. Pick up this litter. Jump backwards. Good Samaritan. I've picked up a bunch of litter. Isn't that wonderful? And then I bounce this way. Alright, I head on back down. Head on back down to Funky Town. Now there's other things over here too. If I go here and do this, this is that. Um, maybe if I oh, you know? Hmm. I would have to be able to get on top of there. I mean, if I just jump that way, right? Nope, it pounces me right off. That bounces me up that way. Maybe what I gotta do... Oh, you know what? I see, I see. This is for this one here. I go up on top of here. I bounce here, then I go down there, and then across. Now I'm over here. But how does that help anything? I suppose I can do this, right? And then... I bounce my way over there. There we go, that works. Hey! I've got me an eye patch because I'm a pirate. Not really. I'm not a personally a pirate. Although, I like entertaining the idea of being a pirate. Sounds fun. Um, and now I gotta get up there. Well, how do? How do get up there? How does one get up there? I didn't really know yet. I'm gonna try this mushroom trick again. Go back over here, and then boop, over here, and perhaps bounce myself in this direction. That didn't work the way that I wanted it to. So this feels like it's, an, it's a one-way area. I can only come down, I can't go up. That's what it feels like. So perhaps this way ain't the way. Oh, but this feels like the way. This is the way. Do you know the way? I don't know the way. Wait, there's a third one, actually. Oh, look at that. All right. That's what I was supposed to be doing here. Then I click the button. I bounce over there. I do shit like that. Then I go over here. Then I turn this on. Then I bounce. Then I bounce over. And that's how you count to ten. So I've decreed. Oh, look at that. Oh, would you look at that. Ball onto surface number one. Drop down. Ball on the... Oh, and then we go down. Yep. Push ball like that. And then... Push that down. We get... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you know what I gotta do? Push that ball this way. And then we go up here. Nope, up like that. Then I push ball upwards. And then across. Yes. It's a puzzle, you see. And that brings it all the way down to the ground. And I split things over here. Slowly but surely, making our way towards the next Wheeler Temple. Do do do. Let's see now. Where to go from here? Interesting how there's currently no lost kids over here. Maybe it's because this is a part of the Wheeler Trial. I don't think I've found any lost kids on top of the Desert Mountain. Not from what I can recall. Is up the correct way to go? There's a payphone. Payphones are cool. However, not very useful right now, because I already know what I'm supposed to be doing. Whoa, what is this? I said thinking I knew what I was supposed to be doing. Interesting. Oh, I bet I have to connect all these together, right? Maybe? That goes up and reveals something new. Interesting. Ah, uh, I understand. Or at least I thought I did. So no, actually, I don't think that one's supposed to be up at all. I think I'm supposed to be going down this way. Down to the bottom. That goes down that way. Oh, but that's the same either way. Oh, maybe I should be going the other way. Let's, let's start the other way first. This pushes that up like that. Brings it over here. Which brings it this way. Which connects it down that way. Oh, okay. I think now it looks like we're cooking with... Oh. That's not connected. Well, actually, now it's connected in that direction. Is there a thing like this? No, that just doesn't work. 
Okay. This is a really cool puzzle. So instead of that, I could do it like this instead. So that go... Ah, that's a dead end. Or maybe if this one's down, it goes up and gets disconnected. That's actually completely disconnected up there. Maybe I need to paint... Nah, I don't need to paint that. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle time. Well, currently this is over here. Um, if I put that back down, it connects like this. If I put this one up, it connects like... Yes! Oh, that's what I needed to do. There we go. Now the two sides are connected together. Sweet! Puzzle unlocked. Moving on to the next one. And there's more switches here too that are apparently could use a reset if necessary. Oh, that doesn't... Oh. Oh. Interesting. These switches don't do anything. Maybe one of them is in the correct order. Maybe it's an order, like... If you don't do the switches in the right order... Yeah, how would I even know? How would I even know what the right order is? Perhaps the next stage will tell... Oh, here we go. There's lines in the ground! I collect connected all those things the other way. Are these guys all up now? They are. Oh, you know, and these ones over here, I bet, activate the other ones, right? It's the stuff on the other end. Yeah, that's it. So these ones are up now. I see, I see. I'm not sure which one's which, so let's try that one. That one went that one down. And this one too? Also, sweet, sweet. So what I want to do is I have the switch for resetting, if I wanted to. I want to get up where? I want to get up there. I can make my way around. Where can I climb up to? Interesting. I need to figure out how to get up to one of these surfaces now. There must be at least one place for me to climb up to. Oh, there's one place for me to climb up to over here. Duh. So I need to go to that bottom route. So I'm also going to turn off this one here. Now that one is open. The one on the bottom left of the screen. Bounce on over there to see what the next step would be. Oh, okay. Go across this one. So I want to turn this guy off in the bottom left. So I can make my way that way. That's going to block me. So I want to turn this one off. Now I can go across that way. Uh, that last one over there in the top right corner is also going to block me. And then when I'm over here, I need to turn this guy back on. So that I have a means to bounce over here and then bounce over there. Sweet. I think this will work. There we go. That was a nice little brain twister. Oh, can I not bounce that way? Wait a minute. Oh, I guess... No! I completely messed it up. Oh, I mean, this is actually the right path, so... Doesn't really matter. So I guess I do need the other one on as well. So, boop. I thought I could just jump and make it easy. No, it's never going to be easy. Why does it have to be easy? It's never easy. As they say, it, it really isn't easy being cheesy. Speaking of cheese, I want cheese. We actually had the opportunity. We were out at the farm. We was at a farmer's market yesterday. And they were selling like this local cheese. We thought about it for a second. Thought about buying cheese, like a little block of cheese. But we didn't wind up doing so because I thought to myself, I'm really the only person who uses cheese in a significant capacity. I can't eat that much cheese. There's one person in my life who I know can eat all that cheese. One of my previous roommates. He can eat all that cheese. I I cannot eat all that cheese. I cannot do it. Okay, so I have to now connect all the dots in particular locations, it seems, right? That's what it seems to be. Uh, ah, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. That one needs to be... Uh, oh, oh, I see, I see. I can climb up this column to get to the wall. And then after I'm on the wall, as I, as it often comes down, and then I, I did color it over here. Yes, and now I'm up here, which is good, because I want to be up here. It's very, very colorful. Yo, what's up, Daddy Cam? I'm not a father, but I appreciate the sentiments. All is well. Got myself a lovely drink here. We're playing some chicory. 
It's colorful, it's wonderful, and it allows me to use my vocal cords in a way. And I really like speaking on the character dialogue. I really like games like this where it's like, they don't... Like, I like games where all the dialogue is narrated, but there's just something... Something about being able to, like, use your own inner narrator to imagine what the characters sound like. I really, really like that. So if I... Uh, can I bounce up that way? I can. I don't... Mm, that didn't work. How does that... Oh, I can go up this way. I see, I see. I can go up this way. Puzzle time. This little spiky path goes up this way. I need to turn this one off so it connects up that way. Now we're over there. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. Uh, so that connects back down there. And I do that. It looks like it's connected. No, it's not. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. <sighs> no clue. It's very... This is very, like... It's fun because you can paint anything and everything. And oftentimes using, like, the controls of, like, a drawing program to be able to play the game. And there's a lot of puzzles. There's a lot of puzzles. Little puzzle platformer, little drawing thing. It's fun. I like it. It's got some dark elements, too. It really... The, like, the plot of this game kind of revolves around, like mental health issues and stuff like that and attempting to like you know come to terms with things like that it's nice and the music is beautiful it's got the it's done by the same it's done by the same person who did the music for the the climbing game celeste lena rain lovely artist all right so i gotta start from here it goes up that way i need to turn this one on no oh so it needs to go down that way oh it's already connected no it's not this little Oh, you know what I gotta do? Gotta turn this guy on again. Now it's going up in this direction, and it is now connected. That's where it needs to be. That is the connection that needs to be made. So in the meantime, I want to get that treasure up there. So I'm gonna turn this off. So it's the it's the right most square. Is the is the proper orientation? I need my thing here so I can get on the. I can't get on the wall. Wait a minute. <gasps> I cannot get on the wall. How am I supposed to get up there? Wait a minute. Wait a wait a flippin' moment. How do I get up there? Oh, you know what I'm supposed to do? There we go. I do that, and then I do that. Then I walk over. Then I put those back to where they were before. To skeet my way this way. Turn off this one so I can climb up here. Turn that back on because I don't need it. Bounce my way over here. Turn that back on so it's all good. And I pop down here. Uh, pop down here. Pop down here. Pop down here. Pop down here. Pop down there. Gift. Yes. Switchy buttons. Switchy buttons done do the things. That's good. So that's one area that looks... I'm going to double check this. Goes all the way around and connects to the outset. Perfect. And now I got to do the other one. I'll turn this one off so I can climb this way. Down, 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 doggy. Why can't I... I want to jump off this wall, please. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. I go this way. Nope. Still not. Hello? Why can I not get out of the wall? Maybe I just... Okay. Oh, it swiped my wall from here. Unfortunate. I should just go down here. No! I didn't want to do that. Go up on this surface. It's still not doing it for me. Okay, you know, you know what? Better idea. Turn that off completely and just hop over. Yeah. Hopping over is a better idea. Uh, and there seems to be... Is there something up there? It looks like... Oh, that's a tree up there. But there's a ton of litter everywhere! We can't have that now, can we? I gotta find that litter. I gotta get, it, gotta get to that litter. Oh, just kidding. That was not the proper level. Bounce and bounce and fly over there. And then... I, don't know, I didn't even need to bounce that way. That's on top of that surface. So, like, what's over here? That doesn't help me. Can I... Oh, you know what I can do? I can, however. No, I really can't. Can I... I can't do that, can I? I need to figure out how to get on this surface there. Oh, never mind. Stupid Cameron. I go here, I go up here, I paint here, and I get flopped over. There we go. 
Then I turn this one up. Or actually, don't turn that one up. I got the litter. There we go. Now it's not a mess anymore. Now it's time to actually do the puzzle. So this guy comes down this way and up here. If I turn this on, it skits it over there. I turn this one off. It flows down to there. If I turn that one off, uh, it's a block. It actually goes back that way. So instead, let's do this route instead. That will go this way and then go up in that direction. It's the same. No, it's not the same thing. It is the same thing. But I turn that one back on. Hmm. No, no, no. I got something to do with this. No. Ooh. This way to that one. Uh, oh, I put this one down, right? Oh. Oh, it should have been the other one. Should have been the other one. So put this one back down, which goes up that way. Turn this one upward. Goes up there. And then connects back. Snake, snake, snake my way over to completion. All right. That's another one. Uh, two more pieces of that puzzle to go. Two more corners of the puzzle to go. Right? That's two of them so far? Yes! That was a cool sound. That was pretty awesome. And that was a pretty good. Not gonna lie. Oh, there's a special thing down that way. At least that's the way it appears. Can I go there? Yes, I can! Oh, look. Look at it. A big area. Oh, where's the buttons? Oh, buttons are down there. Haha, -ha, hello. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. This one is gonna be a little tough. Okay, I need to like bounce onto each of these mushrooms, and before I bounce to the next mushroom, I have to paint. So let's try it. Nope, that didn't work. Nope. Oh, I missed it up. That's okay. It's actually not as bad. This doesn't feel like it'll be as bad as I thought it would be. Because I just... I bounce on it once. Awesome! That was actually a lot more convenient than I thought it was going to be. But what do we get? A flame style! That's pretty hot. I'll equip that. Uh, that wasn't the right one. Flames! Through the fire and the flames! I think that's how through the fire and the flames go. That's a rock song. Somebody can fact check me on that. I haven't listened to it recently. I just know it's a classic. So I go up this way and button? Button. Button go up. Any more presents up here? More trash! Love to see it happen. Yeah, you love to see it. I love trash. Trashity, trashity, trash, trash. Everybody trash. Everybody trash. I'm trash. You're trash. We're all trash. Trash, trash. You are what you eat. I don't eat trash. Or do I eat trash? Should I eat trash? I don't think there's a need for me to eat trash, but I suppose if it uh, becomes a possibility, becomes an opportunity, then what's stopping me? I can't go up that way. Uh. That doesn't help me. I'm down here now. I'm gonna get up to that trash. But what? Oh. Maybe? That doesn't help. Well, I have to be able to get up there. Oh, there we go. I see. I, I didn't do that. Because it wasn't in the up position. Then I send that one back down. I send this one back down. I jump over. I put that one back up. And get trash! More trash for me to collect! And now we solve the puzzle. I can just jump down from here, right? Yep, now let's solve the puzzle. From here... We go down, and... Is it? No, then we go back up. It wraps back around. Pop that down. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Now it's going this way. Down there. There. It's a dead end. Goes back up that way. But now that's been changed. Boy. That... Kinda... Almost... Maybe... No. Well, actually, it has to go this way, right? Because if I click this button, it can go down that way, but that doesn't connect at all. This has to be that. So this has to be like that. And we did it. Cool. Sneak. Sneak to the bottom. Sweet! And there's one more. 
And that's over here. One more for this particular uh, puzzle trial. Oh, this looks fun. Can I just, like, walk up there? Ah, oh, I cannot. I did not hit her. I did not. I cannot paint this. I cannot. I can't do it. You can't make me. You cannot make me paint. You can't make me paint. I won't. I won't let the paint happen. And then I push this back down. Get on top of these flowers. And then push me back up again. And then erase all this. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, gotta be on these ones. Then bounce over. Gift. Dun da da da. Avast, ye hearty. Me, me hearty. Me hearty. Ha. <laughs> oh, did I already solve the puzzle? Oh, I've almost. I feel that I've almost solved the puzzle. Um. Goes down that way. Goes back this way. Nope. How about this way? Oh. Uh, comes through here. Snakes over there. Back to the rocks. Gotta put the rock back up. That connects that way. Excuse me. Nope. What if I do this? Nope. Snake on that way. Snake's on a plane. Brings it up that way. Brings it around. Bring that back to- Oh! Oh, well, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. Unless, do I put this back up again? Oh, that may have been it. No, it was not. Yeah. Maybe there's another way. Well, that just blocks it, so that one's definitely supposed to be down. This changes the direction to go up that way, which causes this to do that. Causes this to come down that way. Eee. Which causes us to wrap around. We turn that off. No. Oh, yes. And then it comes up. Aha! It all makes sense to me now. Cool. I'm gonna say, this took some big brain energy. And by big brain energy, I mean like, it just kind of took a lot of time. And brain effort. It's not because the brain is big, it's just because the brain was fixated on one topic for long enough to be able to solve the problem. Technically, brute force could have fixed it up. All right, time to make my way up the mountain. Can I go through there? I cannot. Not just yet. Hey, what's up, Chickster? Uh, yeah, what's up? Sushi Mac. It's a great view, isn't it? Is this the end? Almost. You've got one final thing to do here. This place is where every wielder paints their self-portrait. The one that hangs in the wielder tower... So, you know, when you feel ready, go to that canvas and paint yourself. Paint yourself like one of your French girls. This is the moment you'll capture forever. Where you're no longer just you, but a true wielder. Try not to be nervous, you know? How's it coming, Sushi Mac? Think you found your path as a wielder? I'm still figuring that out. Before this, I was just a janitor. When I think about what my path is, it feels like I'm here by pure accident. So, I guess I'm just faking it for now. And trying to make it become real. What was your path as a wielder? I wanted it my whole life. And at this trial, I felt completely ready. I, it meant everything to me. Maybe too much. Definitely too much. I could never live up my own vision. Feeling ready is totally overrated. But, well, I wish I felt already. Like, my whole life, I've never known where I'm going. You make it look so easy. You wanted to be a wielder, and you were. Never knew what I wanted to be. So, how can I be anything? It almost feels like you're mad at me for making you the wielder. I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm really mad at myself. For not being the person I wish I was? Did you like being a janitor? Um, I, I did like aspects of it. I liked that my tasks were clear. I liked that I could put my whole self into it. And I didn't have to worry about the outcome. You know, 
when you're making progress and it makes the world better in the tiniest way, uh, like picking up litter or arranging furniture. Why do you sound so sad saying it? Well, because it feels like admitting I'm not even a real artist. I just do things for other people. So you like to do things for others. That's, that's an amazing thing to know about yourself, really. But that's not what I want to know. I, I, I want to want things for myself, like you do. I'm, I'm embarrassed. Sometimes it feels like a joke that's just gone on too long. Like you'll take the brush back and laugh. You really thought someone boring like you could be a wielder? I know that's not really what you think, but... Well, that's basically what you said to me in the swamp. And I, I guess I kind of never got over it. I, I'm genuinely sorry, Sushi Mac. I wish you'd never seen that. I... But there's nothing boring about you at all, Sushi Mac. I wish I had the capacity you do. To be there for other people. And if you ask me... It's a great way to be a wielder, too. It's not just about making art. You're creating a better world for everyone. Being able to listen, to do things for others, that doesn't really come easy to me. It takes all my energy just to deal with myself. Don't... You shouldn't be like me. That's not what makes a real artist. And definitely not what makes a great wielder. You really think that? I do. I understand you feeling like you don't belong, but... Well, I've screwed up a lot. I thought I didn't belong anymore either. But I'm still here. We just gotta keep trying, right? That's... That was something that you showed me. It's what makes you better than me. Don't give up yet. Oh. Thank you for those kind words, Chicory. We were all trying to fight and be the best person of our version of ourselves. Paint your wielder self-portrait. Wow, that's tough. Yes, I'm ready to move on. That's a pretty loaded statement. Yeah. Let's do that. What does this do? Can I change like my pose? Finish? Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely not finished yet. I'm just wondering what... Oh, look at that. I can change my pose around a little bit. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love being on the phone. Oh, that's perfect. I'll go back to being on the phone. Oh, and I can change my expression, too. Ah, I see. I also find it incredibly cute that as you're changing the expression, our main character makes, like, little little sound effects. It's just... It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll take this one. I like that. Can I also recolor myself on here? Oh. Oh, that's nice. I can take the reference and make it bigger honestly if i had like you know i hadn't thought can i plug in my drawing tablet for this i never even thought about that until now it seems so silly i'm gonna try that i'm gonna see if i can plug my tablet in and do this like actual drawing style as if i had pen and paper right in front of me this would be pretty cool uh, if it works, that is. So, let's see if it do. Plug in. And connect to my tablet. By the way, the drawing tablet that I've got is a Wacom tablet. Is this guy. This is my Wacom tablet. Uh, Intuos. It says Intuos, but that doesn't seem correct. Maybe Intuos Wacom tablet. Whatever it is. Uh, let's see. I can move around. That's so cool. Uh, but how do I erase, though? That's tiny. Um, let's see. Control. Nope. I don't know how to erase like this. <laughs> I don't know how to erase. <laughs> I don't know how to erase, uh, erase on this tablet. But I got undo buttons. Nope, that doesn't work. Nope, that's probably not going to work. You know what? This will be This will be a drawing that I can't erase. That's what I'll do. I can't erase this one. So let's go for it. Let's make it... It looks like I can make it bigger with that button. So let's just like... Nope. 
I guess I really can't. Hmm. This is nice. Oh, I've still got that thing on. Well, I can use my controller for the changing around parts of it. Yeah, I can do that. Like, I don't want to be... I don't want the pattern right now. What I do want is just to be able to just do this. Just flop all the way around. Make a purple background. I'll give myself a nice purple background to use. And then I will paint myself a nice contrasting color. Oh, this is very nice. It's like, it's like moments like these, like, like originally, in years past, I really didn't play a lot of video games. Because like the idea of a video game felt like a waste of time and there were so many different types out there. And I think the ones that I really wind up enjoying are one, the ones that like get me really excited. Like I love to be really excited about the game I'm playing. Something that really keeps me, keeps me um, like involved and excited. And I love those. However, there is a very, very special place in my heart for something like a game like this, where it's just, it is what it is. It is, it is calm, feels very, rather, rather collected, and I really appreciate stuff like that. Because it allows, it, it feels, in this whole world that we live in, to get metaphorical, to get a little, uh, get a little, uh, in my head now, the world moves too fast. The world is always moving way too fast for us. Oh, I did not mean to do that. It's okay, I'll erase my mistake. But the world moves too fast around us. And at least in my particular life, I had always felt like there's gotta be this correct next step. And it is totally my job to figure out what that next step is and lean into it. Or else I'm going to fall behind. I'm gonna... Like, I'm gonna f I'm not, even, not even fall behind or anything like that. More vaguely, that if I fell behind, that I would fail. And I really don't want to fail. I do not like the idea of failure. But honestly, if I think about it in a state like now, what your, what your goals are exa are exactly what you make them to be. It's, if you're telling yourself that you failed, then you have determined that where you are right now is failure. I mean, hopefully there's nobody out there telling you that you are a failure. And if that's what they're saying to you, then respectfully, that's just their part. That's just their opinion on where you are right now. That's their, that's, that's their opinion of it, and they're entitled to it. If they think you really are a failure where you are, it's not like we can, we can try to change their mind. We can't make them. But I think what's more important is to be able to... Is, is to be able most most of all to convince yourself that if dude if you know that if you know that you failed owned up to it agree with it but if where you are right now is not a failure to you then just tell yourself that and that's obviously that is a really really tough thing to do i can imagine it is not maybe it's easy to, to look at yourself in the mirror and saying you're doing a good job but i it's it's so so much more difficult to actually believe the words that you were saying to yourself in the mirror. That's a completely, that's, that's a whole nother beast completely. But I mean, one feels like a really good step to get into the other. Like the first step, I mean, I remember growing up being told that like the first step of feeling better is putting a smile on your face. And, and I'll admit it, when I'm not in a good mood, I like, I have this, this what I what I would just to consider a disgusting face. I don't like the way that my face looks when I am in a bad mood. Like, and, and I don't. I mean, I, like for example, I don't like the way that I look when I'm angry. I, I love the way that I look when I'm fired up. Fired up is something different. That's a different mo emotion entirely. But I don't like the way that I look when I'm angry. It just feels so aggressive. It feels so unwelcoming. I don't like the idea of. I don't want to like the idea of potentially like my own face in the mirror looking unwelcoming. So it's not something that I'm totally into. Um, when I'm sad, when I've got like te clearly like tear marks down my face, I don't think it looks very good. I don't think tears are a very good look for somebody like myself. So I try to find those states. So I mean, don't, like, no. And when you're feeling that way, if you can, if you can muster up the courage, I'd say it takes a lot of courage to, to to fool yourself for a moment, fool yourself into thinking like I. I am okay. I feel good right now. Even though I'm clearly not. 
I would consider that, you know, kind of being a little, kind of being a little manipulative with yourself. But, but like for good, for good reason. Like I'm trying to trick myself in the mirror into thinking that I feel better because I know that if I feel better, I will be all right. And I will feel, if I feel better, then that is better off for me. Although, you know, sometimes it's totally fine to feel a little, it's fine to feel emotion. It's fine to feel not good every once in a while. I mean, we're only human. We all have the right to. We all got the right to feel angry in our lives. That's okay. We all got the right to feel sad in our lives. But if you're at that point where you're like, I don't need this right now. I don't need sadness. I don't need anger. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like that on me. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a band that I listen to. And the band's name is Mother Mother. That's like your mother twice with a space in the middle. And I wish I could remember what the name of the song was. God, I, I know that the lyrics are like God awful feeling a dread in my heart. But somewhere else in the song, they say that, you know, I can't change my attitude but I can change my shirt. And you know how actually that can be a really, really good start. And I think of like, if you're in a bad mood and you've got those tears running down your face or you're frothing at the mouth because of your anger, like, just like putting on a new shirt. You can put on a new shirt. It doesn't take a lot of effort for most people. I'm sure there are people out there who it takes a lot of effort to put on a shirt, in which case that's an uphill battle and bless you for it. But putting on a smile on your face, Kind of like, it kind of feels to me kind of like changing your shirt. You can't change your attitude all the time, but you can't change your shirt. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing that we can do that. It's not easy, but it can be easier if we just tell ourselves. We tell ourselves that it's going to be okay. And ultimately, I don't know where everybody else is right now in their lives. I really can't speak on behalf of you, but I, I've, I, I don't know who you are. But I got faith that wherever you are right now, it's exactly where you're supposed to be. I guess that's more a matter of philosophy or anything like that. I, I personally find that no matter where I am right now, even though it may not feel like it, it's where I'm supposed to be. And some things like, sometimes I get proof for that. Sometimes I get something that I, exp I experience in my life that says to me, yo, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. I knew it. I knew it the whole time. Um... Like, like today I was having a call with somebody um, and it seemed that a lot of opportunities, a lot of doors that have been opening for me recently in the past year have come about because I've, I've taken up streaming. Like, I don't know. I, I'm more familiar with a certain subsection of tools. I'm able to communicate with a certain group of people that I was never able to do before. But because of me starting to stream, it opened up that possibility. And I had thought originally, like, I don't know if this is something I really want to do. I don't know if it's going to work out for the better. I don't know if it's just going to be a waste of time. But more and more, more and more, I have found that because I even start, because I started, I have benefited from it, like in a personal way. Like I have been able to talk about what I do on here to my family and my friends and coworkers and potential coworkers. And it's not like, I had always had the fear that like, oh yeah, you tell somebody that you stream video games on the internet, that like, it's just gonna be like, eh, whatever. That's not the reaction that I've gotten. Which is really, really cool. And, you know, I know, there's a really close friend of mine, one of the friends that I, I started streaming with, and that's, that's Christina, the meatball girl, who there were people in her life who were just like, this is, this is not, this is not a thing for you, this is not a real job for you. This is something that you need to, like, put behind you and get your ass in gear to do something that pays well. But, like, something like this, when you're investing your time in yourself, there's nobody out there who can determine what kind of progress you've made except for you. Like, I can't... Nobody out there can determine that I have made enough progress for myself as a streamer. Nobody out there can tell me that. Only I can tell myself that. And personally, I'm in a very happy spot right now. I'm very happy with where I am right now. I mean, 
Uh, as of, as of as of writing, as of speaking, we're at 98 followers, at least on this channel, and it's really cool to feel how far that we've all come, and it's 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 awesome. Like sometimes the numbers don't don't give the same idea, but like if when you think about it, it's a pretty big number. Almost 100 is a really big number. That's awesome. And it's because of it's because of the people who have been here as well, watching along, chatting along. That I don't know. I mean, obviously, even if y'all weren't here, I would have continued doing it anyway. But it's super nice to have people just I don't know, just just hanging around. The validation always feels good. It always feels good. This my sushi mac. I'm gonna sign that with as small as I can. I'm gonna sign that over here. And I think that was a beautiful self-portrait. I like that. I am totally gonna find this song, whatever is playing right now, added to my liked Spotify songs at some point. I need to fix that J. That J don't look good. I sign all of my portraits CJ, because those are my first and second initials. Uh, was it this one? I think it was this one. Good enough for me. There's the ZJ. I liked it. Uh, presenting to everybody my self-portrait of Sushi Mac. It's not really me. I, I'm, like I said, I'm not... I am not... I'm portraying the character of Sushi Mac. I like it. Thank you all for coming to my TED Talk. It is very much appreciated. Finished? Yeah. I love my... <laughs> I love it. My reaction gets a little, uh, little different as I move around. Oh, actually, that's because... Oh, that's the same control as before. Eh, whatever. Anyway. Yes. Submit this portrait? Absolutely. I like that. Oh, that was sweet. Chapter 8. The Wielder Trials. Part 3. I'm having an absolutely lovely time. So I'm going to continue. Depending on how fast these next ones go, I may be able to make it through all the wielder trials tonight. That could be cool. And then I guess there'd be one more episode of Chicory after that. Hmm. Nice job, Sushi Mac. I'll take your portrait back to the wielder tower. I'm excited to see how it looks with the others. But, anyways. You did it, Sushi Mac. That's your second wielder trial down. Halfway there now. You'll be done in no time. <laughs> Almost feels like we should celebrate, doesn't it? Celebrate? How? I really have no idea. I never did fun stuff when I was a wielder. Or when I was in school. Or basically ever. I don't know where people go to just hang out. But we should go to one of those. Well, there's the Luncheon Cafe, Pollock Holy Shop, Dinner Slice. Dude, I am totally down for Slice. Oh, sure. That works. Uh, whichever place you want. Let's just meet there. Uh, see you soon. Well, that was lovely. That was such a lovely experience. Boop. Self-portrait. Complete on. And we did it. Uh, shortcut to the beach. Onward to the beach. We're making our way along. Making our way along. Blow up this little thing. Oh, this is my shortcut to get back up. I understand. I understand perfectly. Never before have I understood things more prominently than I do right now. It's incredible. It makes so much sense. And now I'm on a beach. Beaches and beaches and cream, my friends. Beaches and cream. I like that. Let's get, let's get a move on. Oh, I'm back at Gulf Swamp. I love the music here. It's a shame I haven't already liked this song on um Spotify. I could do it right now. Yeah. I think... What I'll probably do, I I, lo I really do like this game, Chicory. I really, really like this game. So I think probably what I'm going to do, um, when I finish through, or rather put my playthrough of Hat and Time on hold, because there's, there's a lot of stuff on there. I'm not ready for to continue Hat and Time just yet. It's all the hard mode stuff. But when I finish with that, I did a drawing stream drawing a character from Hat and Time. I feel like I should totally do that as well for Chicory. Because it's I, I, really, I really, really enjoy this game. It holds a very special place in my heart right now. I should totally do that. 
I'll uh, I'll pop that on a schedule somewhere. After after this whole playthrough is at this whole whole playthrough is over, I'll go for it. That'll kind of be my farewell to chicory until next time. Sounds like a nice thing to do. And even if it's not a nice thing to do, even if people aren't into it, I'm gonna do it anyway. So, ain't no stopping me now. Ain't no stopping me now. Oh, another deserted island. Sweet. I love picking up trash. Also, I gotta go over to this way if I'm gonna make it to a bench to take myself up to uh, dinner. Which is the town. The town's name is dinner. It's the town of dinner. Oh, more in schwamp. Oh, this is the dude that tells me... I think he tells me... This, I don't know what this guy tells me about. Maybe he tells me about secret clothes. I don't exactly remember. Let's see. Dude, what do you tell me about? Tell me. Tell me more. I want to know. What's in here? Hey there, buddy. Oh, sit down? Nah, I don't need to sit down. Beetroot. Last I checked, the place you visited with the most gifts is Supper Woods. There's still five gifts in there. Hope they find a happy home. Oh, yes. That's what it was. You're the gift girl. You're the one I go to to figure out about the gifts. Let's see. Haven't yet been over here. This is still more of the big drink. I want to see if there are any more deserted islands out here that have litter. I don't like litter. Littering's not fun. <gasps> Another deserted island. Would you look at that? Oh, this is a ball. Can I move this ball across the water? Oh. Maybe I have to... Oh, you know what? Maybe this is a whole... Maybe there's a whole thing here. Maybe I have to make myself a bridge. There we go. Let's try that. No, I fall right in. Interesting. No, I exploded it! I didn't want to do that. Ah! Huh. What to do about that? I can't get myself into the water. Unless I jump. Oh, you know what? I can bounce. Ah, I see. I can bounce it. I can bounce it to the other side. That's awesome. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Now that I've bounced it over here, I can explode it and get another gift. What could possibly be? I got a splash onesie. I'll put that away. And continue on elsewhere. Oh, there's a gift here too. Oh, would you look at that? Absolutely, my friend. This was- this looked like it was a gift that I couldn't access before because I didn't have the jump ability. Sweet! And now... Ah, oh yes! Indeed! Let's color this all up so I can grab my way up onto the next surface. Was the music always this beautiful here? I don't recall it being that way at all. Wow. Sailor! Little sailor lad! Yeah, I don't remember the music being this piano-y before. It's lovely. Oh, you know, I can make it over there now. Because I have access to the water again. So now I can go over here. I don't think I was able to get over here before. Oh, yes, I could. I just had to jump. Oh, well. Silly me. Oh, well, there's the trans uh, uh, transit bench. So. Whoops. Did not mean to fall into the water like that. Transit bench. Let's make our way up to dinner. Oh, yeah. I want to go to dinner. Uh, Where's dinners? There's dinners. Oh, yeah. Let's go to dinners and get some slice. Love me some slice. Slice is pizza in this universe. Basically. Do, 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 do. What's up, Chicory? Were you bopping along like I was? Because I certainly was. Want to hang out here? Yeah, slice time. Let's hang, Chicory. You and I bond together. This place is pretty cool. My sister and I designed a logo. Oh. Didn't even know you had a sister. She's an artist too. She's the best. 
it's kind of surreal, you know? To just be here hanging out with you? I used to want to so badly. <laughs> well, it's surreal for me too. To just be hanging out somewhere, in general. For as long as I can remember, everything I did was to become the wielder. And then as soon as I got it, it's when everything fell apart. Why did you want to be the wielder so badly? I don't know. Feels like something I always knew about myself. Haven't you all had something you always dreamed of like that? No. Not really. Oh. <laughs> Look at me still with zero chill. <laughs> Didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. No, 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 it's, it's okay. Actually, it's kind of refreshing. I've always wanted to know my purpose. But I never knew how to do that. Talking to you makes me feel... It makes it feel more real to me. Like, if you figure it out, then maybe I can too. Sometimes I wish... That I didn't know mine so well. Or think I knew so well anyway. I wish I'd been able to see paths for myself. There was never a plan B. Never even made many friends or anything. Now that I'm here, it's hard not to feel like a dead-end failure. Well, well, now you know how I feel all the time! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ha 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 Um, but really, you're not a failure, Chicory. I think it's normal to not always know where you're going. I guess I know it's normal. It's just never been normal for me. But thanks, really. I'll keep it a day at a time for now. Honestly. I'm just glad I can finally talk to someone about this. I'm... I'm glad we're friends, Sushi Mac. Um... I'm glad we're friends, too. Duh! Bonding! That was awesome. And you're just sitting there all smug as ever. This dude's just, just like... I got two wheelers in my establishment, and I'm feeling absolutely wonderful right now as a proud, small, local business owner. You want some slice? Yes, I want some slice. I could totally go for some slice, so to speak. Anyway, now I gotta make it to another corner of the map. Let's go to the other corner of the map. I need transit. I need to go back to the transit authority to take me exactly where I need to be exactly all the time. So I need to go, it's just, it's quicker to squeeze on the ground. Wanna go somewhere? Yeah! Hell yeah! I'm gonna go to Supper Woods! I've literally never go down there. Actually, I've never been to Supper Woods. Kind of thing. Actually, no, no, no. There was a thing down there. Once upon a time. Now I'm back at Gold Swan. Oh, this is exactly where I needed to be. Well, I'm incredibly more mobile now than I was previously. Because of the power of the water! So let's go that way. Ah, oh, cool. Well, very good then. Nope. Oh, fine. Fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. This is okay. This is fine. We're all happy with that. Um, jump in the water. Nope, I didn't want to do that, but I can... Ah! Jump in water. Go back up this way. Make my way this way to the next pond over. Go over here. Um, I guess jump over here. Can I jump up? I can jump that way if I wanted to. I can also jump up this way. I love... Looking back on it, this whole world here is so meticulously designed to make sure that you can get anywhere and everywhere that you want to. That's really cool. Alright, I don't think that really helped me. This particular journey did not help me in the least bit. So I'm going to go back to the transit and make my way back to... Oh, you know what? I should go back to uh, Picnic anyway, or wherever the home place is. Because my mother is visiting. So I'll do that. Want to get lift somewhere? Hell yeah! I want to go back to luncheon! You want to travel? Yeah! You got to! I really want to travel there! Back at luncheon. On well, now... I will go visit my house. Da, 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 da. Oh wow, the corruption has been spreading. Oh, I just noticed that. That's pretty crazy. Oh right, mom said she was coming to visit you soon. Better put some furniture and decorations down now that I can do that. Yeah, 
Let's do that. Let's decorate. I want... I'm a, very, I'm a minimalist in this game. I want the weirdest object. Yes. It's dirt. My mother will be proud of dirt. Yeah. But it's a nice looking dirt. It's, um... It's green dirt. Yeah. I like that. And then I'll go back inside. Um... Is that perhaps not enough furniture? Maybe I need more furniture. But for my parents decide to come on by. Damn it. Oh, this interface persists even on different screens. That's cool. We'll put a cushion down there. Place to sit. Yeah, we need some places to sit. That's what we need. Pedal stool. Nope. Oh, yo. Couch. Couch will look great in here. It'll totally bring the room together. And then... And then a rug. Like this one. A rug. I like that. Make it more colors. More green. Okay. Green's fine. That's fine too. I like that. And let's give a pattern to this all over here. Let's make it... I want it purple. Purple. Purple spots. Purple spots with lime green. I think that'll look beautifully. Now I'm just going to take my color turn it to that and do the spots. There we go. Purple spots on lime green. Perfect. And I'd love to have uh, the same... Let's do a blue back here. Blue dots. You know, I think that'd be better off red. I think red would be best. I like that. I'm happy with my decision. Hey, look! It's my mom and she's standing in the wall. Hi, Ma. Hey, Sushi Mac. I'm so glad to finally visit you here. And I have to say, your place looks dashing. It's so cute. It's really leveled up since you first moved in. Sushi Mac, I want you to have this. Aww, it's a family portrait. Think of it as a housewarming gift. Remember taking that when you were a kid? You were so cute then. And now you're so fugly. Just kidding. I won't stay long, I promise. But just so you know, I told Dad and Clementine you're taking visitors now. The word might spread farther than that, so be ready for guests here sometimes, okay? Love you, sweetie. Love you too, Ma! You're the best! You're the best mom in the world. Who's here in my house? Oh, it's still my mom. Can I talk to my mom? Oh, she sometimes just warps around. That's cool. As your mother sometimes does, I'm sure. Um, let's see. I haven't talked to Beans in a while. Need to go talk to Beans. Beans about his child problem. Or rather, there's there's a lot of children. There's actually no problem here at all, sir. No problems, officer. Just a man who likes his kids. I'll take the studio set. Hey! I moved more stuff out for the kids! Did you want to take that studio set? Yeah! Now I got a studio set. Nice, nice, nice. Sea beans. Isn't it nice to get rid of that old junk? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I've had that stuff for so long. But it's easier now that you're here to talk me into it. I've got a new life to make space for with all these kids around. Alright, well, I'll be watching these kids. If you find three more, I'll move more stuff out. Thanks, Beans. You the man. Yo, what's going on, dark but cool? Mr. Garol, popping on over here. It's always a pleasure to receive you, sir. Receive you in chat. This is Yum K. That's not where I want to be. I think I want to be... Uh, I actually don't really know where to go for this next thing here. Uh, that's a treasure up there. Treasure trove. Uh, let me climb up that wall. And it looks like there's an area I can go over here. Yeah? Yes. Uh, I can jump over. I can also go this way. Uh, that's cool and all. <gasps> there's a treasure in the ground. I like treasure. That completely caught me off guard. Stripey T. Nice. I like teas that is stripey. I like to see it happen. Was there anything over on this screen over here that I should be aware? Mm, no. So I'll continue up on this way. I will pop on over there. Make my way to deeper into the woods. Oh yeah, I definitely haven't been here before. <gasps> There's a child up there. I will find you, child. Don't think that you can hide from me, child. I see you in there. I hope you're gonna bounce all the way around. Okay. I've got you, small one. Thank you. Oh, I have been here. Oh, how do I get in that cave? There's a big old chest over there. 
There's a big old present over there. I want to get it. How do I get in there? This is Tea Time Meadows. Oh, okay. Well, I was already in this direction. Oh, I haven't gone this way yet. Mm, more treasures to be found. More adventures to be had. I love it. Gift. I'll take that. I got more headphones. I like headphones. Sounds good right about now. I'm wearing my own headphones. That's going to be my next purchase that I got to make. The next purchase that I got to make has got to be my new headphones because these things are crap. They do not keep a charge. I got to keep them plugged in all the time, which is unfortunate. It's really annoying. I mean, I guess that's not really the, I guess that's not really the problem, right? The problem is the fact that I can't unplug these headphones and go across my uh, like I can't listen to music for prolonged periods of time without um child without keeping this thing plugged in that's just really really inconvenient i mean i have to keep these things plugged in anyway for stream because more like the battery doesn't last for more than i mean actually i guess it depends on how long it takes for me to have to plug things eh, you know what it depends i don't really know yet when i first started streaming before these headphones got really really crunk uh i could it could last about four hours before i needed to plug these things in and let them charge and that's that oh yo we got a beach this is actually the beach I'm a color of the beach. A beach color. Who are you? What's up, Slushy? I feel like Slushy's name has been said before. Ah, the sun, the waves, being here makes me feel so thirsty. I need me a sweet cold fizz, pronto. But on the other hand, how can I use this perfect spot? Mm, I have an idea. What if you threw a beach party? If you put down lots of decor and attract people here, someone is sure to bring some fizz. Hurry! Okay, okay, dude. I'll put down decor, and I'll make it absolutely beautiful. That way, people will be sure to bring fizz. Let's see. I got some things from my studio set, like a dirt computer. Cool. That wasn't from the studio set, but I'll take it anyways. Uh, run that down there. Let's do... Ah! Oh, a statue. That's a lovely-looking statue. I like that. Um, of course, we need a studio desk for people to draw. For you, Miss Slushy. Would you draw? Do you draw, Miss Slushy? How do you like to be drawn? Do you like to be drawn? Do you, you do any drawing of the sorts? We need some seats for people to sit down. It ain't a party without a place to sit, obviously. What else have we got in a party? Oh, the regal chair. The regalist of chairs for something like this. We need lights. Lights outside. Not, I have no idea, but you could use a nice light on you. Isn't that right, Miss Slushy? Absolutely. And something on the floor, like... Like a towel, a beach towel. Yeah, these are all beach towels. There you go. There's a beach towel. And there's a beach towel. There we go. I'll do that. Get out of that and get, add some color to the shindig. Um, your towel, all the towels should be red. The sheets should all be blue. And the miscellaneous, eh, let's just... That red color is... You know what? Sometimes white can be used very well. So, let me go over here and come on back... Oh, yeah. I got plenty of people. A beach party, just like I dreamed. But nobody brought any fizz. My perfect plan brought to ruins. Well, at least there's kicking beach party now. Maybe this beanie is why I'm so hot. I guess that's the price for you pay for style. What's up, P? Yeah, yeah, this is nice. I needed to get out in the sun. Thanks for setting this cool little area up. You're welcome. Pickle is a... Pretty cool beach party. It's got it all. Water, sand, random miscellaneous furniture. It's all here. Love to beach. Sunshine, sunshine, it's fine. Lemon. Ah, I'm so glad I came. Uh, sounds the ocean. Uh, sand between my toes. <laughs> I really needed this. And you, shroom. Hello, stranger. I realized I probably could have got an hour to swap more. So here I am. Someone said there was a party here, so I was like, well, maybe I'll we'll check it out. Now I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is so nice. I really like the smell of my swamp, but it's really nice to breathe a clear sea breeze now and then. You're welcome, everybody. Happy to be of assistance. Oh. I don't know, have I been to Brecky before? I don't recall ever being here before. Huh. Oyster! I've been working on a sand castle all day. I don't even know why. I just got really into it. You like it? I do. It's beautiful. Well, thank you. I really want to become a pop singer. I've been getting ready for a big audition. But some bad news came today. And, well, it seemed like that's on hold. 
I didn't know how to process it. Now I'm here, building the sandcastle, and trying not to think about it. Until a stranger comes along and talks to me, I guess. I know it's gonna be okay. I know I can try again, in theory. But it's hard to keep feeling that. When all you have in front of you is rejection. Try to stay positive. I just wanted that chance so bad. As a sorry for dumping my life story on you. No, it's cool, dude. It's cool. Because honestly, I'd do the same. What's up, Pepper Man? Wow! Hi! <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but I, I have something to show you! Nice. That looks very similar. Oh, that's the portrait that I just drew. Do you recognize it? Oh, it's my version of your self portrait! The one hanging in the wielder tower? I really wanted to make something just like it. Of course, I couldn't use colors like you do, but like, what do you think? It's awesome. I love it, dude. Ah, thank you so much. I'm so glad you loved it. Um, I want you to have it. Fan arts acquired. Um, so like, if you actually hate it and don't want it to hang anywhere, that's totally cool. It means a lot that I got to give it to you. Thank you for making wonderful art. <laughs> I'm probably your number one fan. I keep telling my friends about your great art. They're probably sick of hearing about you. But that's because they're just so uncultured. I don't know much about art, to be honest. But I don't know how to put into words. So I don't know how to put into words what I like about yours. It's just so... You. Your personality comes through in everything you make. It's also charming and unique. I know you aren't everyone's favorite. But that just makes me like you more. I'm on your team. I don't care what anyone says. History will prove them all wrong. I'm so excited to live in a picnic full of your art. Thank you for your amazing art. And also for um talking to me. Didn't think you'd have the time to chat with nobody like with nobody like me, but it makes me so happy. So thanks. You're so welcome, Peppermint. You are my business biggest fan after all. Biggest fans deserve to have their paintings showed where everyone can see them. Nope. Like right here. Right over top of somebody's window. And I'll add a little color to it too. No, wait! I wanted to add a color to it. I keep clicking the wrong button. Boop! Now it's yellow! You're welcome, sir. What else is there around here? Well, there's a little... There's a child in the trees. I'm gonna get the child out of the trees. Yeah. I'm gonna invade this man's house. Oh, wait a minute. I saw something down there. <gasps> trash. I see trash. I must pick up trash. Trash. Do, 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 do. Hello, you. Curry. What's up, dude? Oh, yeah. Sure, she macked the wielder, right? Um. Oh, let's just say I run the sweet shop. Yeah. Let's just say that. Uh, got time for a little side quest? Uh, Want to design an extra special suite for me? Absolutely! I've always got time to design. I can create sweets in any shape at all. Make the most wild, delicious thing you can imagine in this plate. I am gonna make a tower. First, we're gonna start with the bottom block. Oh, you know what I should be doing? should be using my... There we go. Right angles. This is my first rectangle. Then I'm going to change colors. I'm going to opt for a nice pink. Now I'm going to put this next triangle up here. Like this. Did I say triangle? I meant square. Now I'm going to put another, even taller rectangle up on top. If you think this is too many rectangles, you're right. It most definitely is. Uh, now... Let's do this. Hey, dearest. Yeah. I have a request for you. Yeah. Can you look at my phone? My younger brother needs something. And I don't, I don't know the answer to the question. Thank you. I never changed it. Oh. I'm also going to add arms to my tower over here. They're also going to be rectangular type things. And then I'll add one more. Your phone's not accepting my, my thingy. Oh. I can fix that for you in a moment. My bro my youngest brother just asked me what the Hulu password is. Can you just text him on my phone? 
And I don't know what it is. It's literally the same thing. It hasn't changed. Well, that's what I figured. Oh, will you text them? Yeah, I can just text them. Okay, okay. Okie dokie. <gasps> Sorry, fam. <laughs> Little business to take care of. And it's gonna have arms. I like to think this is very gyroid esque. From, like, Animal Crossing. I love Animal Crossing. I should totally do a, an Animal Crossing thing. Maybe. There we go. This is the wildest shape I can come up with. I'm happy with it. Oh, wow. Brooks are gonna love this thing. Let me whip up a bunch. Nice, dude. Glad to know that you like it. Wow, that is actually pretty cool looking. That is so me. It's so abstract. Ew. Looks beautiful, thanks. You're welcome. Making colorful sweets is a uh, fresh technology. That's all thanks to Dr. Cheese's research. I still never met Dr. Cheese. You've got to meet her sometime. Her lab is just north of here. As for how I make the sweets into any shape, well, that secret is mine. Mine alone. So, oh, did you want to change up your sweet? Uh, no, that's good. Carcala, what's up? Oh, what a treat for the senses. A delicious, sumptuous sweet. In such an attractive and colorful shape. Heck yes! I'll take ten. What about you, Pumpernickel? Ah. Um. This is certainly aesthetic. I have a bit of weakness for a classy suite. The presentation here is a bit outside my expectations. But perhaps expectations deserve to be challenged. You're right. I have challenged your expectation. With the power of... Rectangles! I love rectangles. What's up, cantaloupe? What a surprise to see all the color gone today. I think there's something beautiful about a blank world. A huge canvas for us to fill however we want again. Feels like a new beginning. Color or no, life goes on, I guess. Maybe it's okay to leave it blank. Feels strange, but maybe we're just not used to it yet. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. How can I get up there? I'm gonna get up on top of this. I'm gonna climb up on your house. It's the only thing I know how to do. Climb up in people's houses. What is this? Can I, like... Oh, I can climb into the chimney. I'm inside. Yo. What's up, fam? What's going on? You got a little... Dude, a little man cave. Tayaki. What's up, Tayaki? Uh, hi. Did you just... Just break into my room to the ceiling? Are <laughs> you a fan of my streams? I am. Oh, you don't know who I am, do you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm the famous Cameron with an X. Just kidding. I feel awkward when I'm not on camera. <laughs> I, I promise I'm less awkward on stream. You should tune in sometime. I'm trying to get more subscribers. Uh, sorry. I, I can't really chat more. I'm actually in the middle of a stream right now. Really? Me too, dude. Yo, high five. I love it. Thanks, Tayaki. You're so cool. I like you. I'll give your world some color. There we go. You know what? You know what? You know what? From one streamer to another. Okay. Eh. I'm trying to draw my name. And it's not coming out very well. M -er o eggs. N. Yeah. That's my Twitch. Twitch. You know what? Whatever. I, I can't write out all of that. I'm not going to bother writing the URL. But I am going to jump off this building and then pick up some trash. It's exactly what I would have wanted my life to become. And find more people to talk to. What's up, guys? Oh, you chatting? J Jikama? Jikama? I was having a pretty rough week. But I always feel better when I'm with Jikama. Ah! get it but thanks i'm just being me that's really all i need sometimes everyone visits brekkie for the beach people who live here are just kind of over it so i always stoked when time comes to visit she reminds me not to take it for granted huh? between the sound of the waves and jikama's chill energy yeah it always mellows me out you should just come move here then i'll get bored of the beach oh yeah Okay, well, you better stay far away. That's chill, bro. Chill. There's also a transit bench here as well. I'm gonna make my way down over to the left over here. See, oh, I have been here before. I just never went in this particular direction. 
So now I'm going to head north and probably find Dr. Cheese, perhaps? Um, wait a minute, but if it's north from here... Oh, you know? Uh, maybe I got to go up in that direction. Did I never actually go up conceivable north? Interesting. Oh, who's in here? Gelato. How do you like my photo gallery? It took all... Of, I took them all when I was younger. I used to be quite the adventurer, you know. Not so much these days. <laughs> but if I'm being honest, they really lost something in the color wipe. My photo is depicted picnic as a lush and colorful place. Now they're all black and white. I don't want to remember picnic that way. Please, if you're in any of these places, could you take a new photo for me? Preferably with lots of new color. I'd love to see what picnic looks like now. Looks like now. When did I get so old? Oof, life can crawl by so slowly. When you look back, it takes it's like all happened at once. I'm grateful for the adventures I got to go on. Please, if you're in any of the places in my photos, I'd love to get a new photo, preferably with color. What a scary thing, the color ripe. I'm sure it means many lost memories of the people of Picnic. And it also breaks my heart a bit. I think these places in my photos are all being reborn with new color. I can't see them for myself. Picnic is such a wonderfully diverse region. I want to remember it with colors. Please help me. I think I get the idea. Thank you, Gelato. Pancake! What's up, dude? You ever pay it atten much attention to the bugs? I love watching them, like these butterflies. They float around so free and peaceful. You ever notice how they like to land on colored flowers? Yeah, that's a thing. Bet you didn't know that. Some days are really hard. Sometimes I feel like my mind is bouncing everywhere. And I just can't keep it together. But when I watch the bugs, it centers me again. It helps me to focus on something real in front of me. Other than all the anxiety in my brain. Picnic's full of lots of living things, big and small. It's important to pay attention and be aware of one another. That's how we can all coexist peacefully. Of course, the world's even bigger than Picnic, isn't it? There are lots of people living the big drink and beyond. I've heard there's even an underground bug province. Hey, I bet that would be pretty amazing to see. You're right, buddy. You are absolutely right. Alright, so I guess I'll head over here and then head north and... I guess try to figure things out, right? No, but I can't go in there. Where does that direction lead to? That's to the Grub Caverns that I was already there. Maybe I took the wrong direction. Maybe I do need to go up here. And I just haven't found it yet. I just gotta go the other direction. A different direction. One that I haven't gone before. So, let's try to figure out what direction that is. Um, up was where I went before. Kind of was. I kind of don't have a choice but to go up. Um, that was a possibility over there some things like that that's the grub caverns but maybe i need to go up north in this cavern and then find a way to go like to another direction i don't exactly know i've already been up here is there more that i haven't found out about yet potentially hmm i don't know what to do about that Maybe some of my new abilities will allow me to travel to different areas inside of this cavern. Where's that? I'm back out here already. I can go... Oh, you know? I can go up here. Was I always able to do... I was not able to do this before... Oh, yes, I was. I've already been here. Alright. Um, where else haven't I been? I do want to go somewhere. Grub is this. Desert Peak was over there. I guess I need to... Oh, you know what? I need to go back this way and then go up, probably. To the top of those mountains over there. Yeah, let's try that. There's got to be some mountains for it. So let's try that. Ah, yes, because there's water down there now. Oh, but I can't jump into it. So how am I supposed to get over there? Interesting. I can't move this ball unless I'm over there first. There seems to be a little area up there. 
Can I make my way up to that third level? Because if I can... The only way to access that is over there. I don't think I can make my way through, can I? Nah, I don't think I can. In other words, I can't make it over there. So there must be something else. But there is an area around. So like, I'd have to go to Brecky and go north. But I guess I need to go south from here and then around the corner. That's what I need to do. So let's try to do that. And you know, I think before I move on and do that, I'm going to take a quick little break for myself over here. And we'll all enjoy the music of dinners together. That's lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'll be back from my break in a little bit. Don't go nowhere. More trials lie ahead. Be back in a bit. Hello all, and we are back. I am back from my break. How was your break? I hope it was wonderful. I recall mentioning before that my fiance and I went to a bit of an outdoor market the other day. And I don't remember what I was talking about then. But you know what we did buy there? We bought two entire bushels of kale. Kale is in like the, the, the lettuce type thing, the green thing. And I always have had a fascination with kale since I think middle school. Because at one point in time, somebody brought kale to the lunch table. And I was like, oh my god, I love this. I've completely fallen in love. Hey, a treasure. And then later on down the line, I had found that you can basic, basically, uh, a, real, a wonderfully easy recipe is literally you take kale, uh, mix it, uh, you see, so you mix a little bit of oil, a little bit of water together, and you soak the kale into it. And then add a little bit of salt and stuff, a bit of pro whatever to that little mix of yours. Soak the kale in it, and then lay the kale out on a baking sheet, and cook on low heat, in in your in your oven for hours until they cr they crisp they they crinkle up. And and this is this is how crinkly this is how crinkly. My kale chip. It has such a nice crunch to it. It's amazing, and it tastes awesome. Low heat, 225 degrees. That's how you're gonna make kale chips for like an hour. That's that's how we made the kale. That's how my fiance has made the kale chips. The Disney queen herself is the master of kale chips. We bought the two huge bushels of kale, and I was like, "Are we gonna use all that?" And yes, the answer was yes. I don't know how many more bushels we've got, but oh hey you, I'm back in the Tea Time Meadows. I guess I never actually visited you before. Hello, Kiwi. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. Tell me, do you like music? I do. <laughs> I knew it. Me too. It's my favorite thing. I can already tell we'll be friends. Let's write a little song together. Sure. Yeah. I'll just draw around me here and I'll sing. Whenever you're ready. Oh, nice. Here's your song. Do you like it? I'm down for it. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you, Kiwi. You can make color. I'll make a tune. Just a small thing to lighten my mood. Why don't you take this? I got a music note style. That's pretty cool. Come make a new song anytime you want. Oh, I went inside. Uh, singing spot. Oh, nice. Pomelo. Hello. You seem like a world weary traveler. How romantic. Me? Oh, I'm just a collector of things. I love weird knickknacks and discarded treasures. There's a certain magic to them, wouldn't you say? So tell me, tell me. On your travels, do you ever find discarded things? I want them. I want them all. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll trade you instruments and record players. My, um, neighbor is always bringing more in than I can fit. Anytime there is one, anyone, anytime one's here, feel free to trade for it. Nice. Well, I want that instrument. I got plenty of trash. So let's go for it. Yes. I got an oboe. Lovely. I want another one. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna buy all the instruments. Xylophone. Oh, big ol' is that an upright bass or cello? What are we gonna call that one? Bass, upright bass. That's a theremin. That's a theremin, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's the one where you when you move your hand close to it, it goes like ooh. Ah. That's the theremin. An acoustic guitar. Nice guitar. A synth slash piano. Keyboard. Electronic drums. Guitar hero. Band hero drums. Um, that's a small guitar. Ukulele, maybe? Ukulele. Yeah. A microphone. Absolutely. I bought all that. Now I'm going to buy your record players. Exchange fans to the music player? Absolutely. Oh, there's a music player down there. Big city record player. Oh, and what is this, though? Oh, that's just it. Okay, the label is just higher up. Yeah, I want to exchange my trash for that. Absolutely. I'm a big music guy, so I'll take it. Underground records? There's plenty of records to find. And by the way, my sincerest apologies for all the crunching. I love the way kale, to, kale chips taste. I am a huge fan. <laughs> my neighbor is a pretty big music fan, so they're always bringing me things. Very sweet, really. But the instruments and records do take up so much space. And I'm kind of in a variety myself. People will toss away all sorts of things. I mean, some would call it trash. But every little thing we carry carries a story with it. I want to know all these stories. I'm always getting new records, so feel free to come check it in sometime. Please. Oh, excuse me. Got my water there. Getting a little parched. These kale chips are crunchy and salty. I like it that way. So I do want to go up this way. This is the... I'm not in the right spot. I got to figure out how to get to where I got to go. Oh, you know what? I should go to the ocean. That's what I should do. I should go to where the beach is. Mm-hmm. Because I hadn't gone up north from the ocean yet. I hadn't tried that yet. Do, do, do. What's up, Ginger? What a lovely beach. P's always telling me I should get out more. It's hard to get the motivation to leave home. But now that I'm here, I don't want to leave. It's such a nice way to spend an afternoon. Thanks for setting this up. You're welcome. And Raisin. <clears throat> yeah, this is nice. My head's been full of so much crap these days. Worries, doubts, streets, S's. Being here, it's like that stuff is washing away into the ocean. At least for a little while. Nice. Love to hear it, my friend. Love to hear it. So long as we're all chill and we can chill together. Okay. So now what I want to... Yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to go north from the water. So I can wrap all the way around. That's how I need to do it. You need to take the waterway. Actually, can I even go this way? Oh, I can. I wonder if there's anything to find in this direction. Nope. We're back down here. <laughs> I didn't really want to do that, but... I want to do this all quick, like... There we go. I must find... Find an island? Yo! A big old island! That's pretty cool. That's exactly what I was looking for. I love it! Another rush style. Put that away. I figured there'd be something to find down here, so I wanted to make sure I found it. And there's even more down here. I wonder if there's any space over here that I'm missing. Nope. Okay, so I've already done that before, so I will head back up north to the new areas. Yes, I am eating all the kale chips. That's 
I have them as my snack. We can make more. I'm just gonna make the rest of them tomorrow, I guess. Awesome! I can help, right? Yeah. Yay! I do like helping with the kale chips. Love to help. Love to help. All right, this is a new area. This is exactly where I need to be. Perfect. It's so cool as well. You, you, you guys might not be able to see. Actually, let me try to put this on full screen right now. Can you guys see that, like, you can kind of see through the kale chip? Like, it's become a little translucent, especially, like, in the light. That's too dipped in oil. That's why. Is that because it's dipped in oil? That's the ones that have too much oil. It's really cool. So you'll notice the ones that are, like, just crisp, but don't have any clear, like, clarity. Mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of oil on them. Okay. Well, I love the way they look. It's really, really cool looking. Let me get this. Get all my paintbrush. Come on, paintbrush. Up on the wall. Okay, go this way. And then up here. I have a feeling that's the direction I'm supposed to be going. So I will not go that way just yet. I don't know how to get up there. I can go this way. Oh, that's the way I'm supposed to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way because this is not the way I'm supposed to go. Because that's where chicory is. Excuse me. I hiccup sometimes. It happens. Especially when I've got all this yummy, yummy food. And snacks. That The best thing, in my opinion... Excuse me, about kale chips... Is the fact that it's a guilt-free snack. Like, how could you feel bad eating kale? Like, I don't know. It's not junk food or anything like that. And it... I mean, it's basically just... It, it's basically just salt. Salt and oil. But, like, it's kale. So... Doesn't the beauty of the kale, like the, the healthiness of the kale, offset everything else? It probably does. And this must be Dr. Cheese. You must be Dr. Cheese. Well, you're the only other place that I found color, so. Cashew. Hey, um, Dr. Cheese's assistant. I collect color samples for her study. I'm mostly, mostly from the colors you've been leaving around, Picnic. I help up around the labs, too. Sometimes, there's ne well, never, there's never a dull moment down here. It's the cutting edge of color research. Dr. Cheese is in really incredible. She was doing groundbreaking research when a student in school came up, studying those papers. <clears throat> it was a real privilege to work closely with her. Are you familiar with Dr. Cheese's work? She was the one to theorize the existence of the primary colors, red, Green and blue. That's what we have suspended here in the lab. Apparently, their combinations produce all other known colors. Isn't that fascinating? If that didn't blow your mind already, get ready. We found that black is the absence of the three primaries, and white is the maximum of all three. So the default state of the world is simply at those extremes. Which, what that means, when you use your brush, you're not adding color. You're actually pulling apart the fabric of color that's already there. Revealing the hidden gradations between white and black. Crazy, right? The current goal of Dr. Cheese's research is synthesizing that splitting of red, green, and blue brush does. Welcome to the party, my friend Gryffindor. In celebration of your arrival, I'm going to keep narrating the show, as well as put on a really tiny party hat. Because it's cute. And I love it, and it's to celebrate the arrival of a new follower. Splitting of the red, green, blue, your brush does. Some say she's toying with the natural order, playing God with dark forces. Or you can't say it isn't exciting. We're adventuring into the unknowns of the universe. Indeed, Cashew, you're absolutely right that we are. It absolutely is true as well. Dr. Cheese! Let me finish this kale chip. Kale chip over. Anyway. Well, well, well. I was wondering when you'd find your way here. I'm Dr. Cheese, a scientist. I study all sorts of things, but I'm probably best known for my color theories, so you can imagine I've been quite excited to meet you. That brush of yours is a really special thing, but through our research, we've found ways to replicate color. And potentially, make new ones too. Well, that's still just a theory. A color theory! Thanks for watching! Still, we would love to collaborate with you. If our theory is correct, we could make a brush style that lets you create your own colors. Honestly, that would be wonderful. 
because I've been meaning for that. It's just a prototype, but would you be interested in making your own colors? Oh, yeah, dude. I thought you might. First, you'll need to design the colors you want. I'll let you tinker away. Oh, what? Create a, what? Create a color pattern. Oh, I create a, oh, dope. I want blue. I really love the color blue. That is a nice, oh, that is a royal blue. Let's see, this, this I would consider to be my favorite color. This here is my favorite color. I also love the way that a nice ruby color looks. Like a, like a, like a darkened ruby. I tend to find that my favorite colors kind of coincide with, like, precious gems. Because I love the way a ruby looks. I love the way a sapphire looks. And, of course, emerald as well. And I'm particular. I'm picking the colors that... I'm specifically picking the colors that I remember the GBA cartridges for Pokemon, Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire were. Because they're just relevant. Let's see, but I've got those. Um, I'd also love for me a nice hot pink. Dude, the hottest of pinks. I'm going for vibrant colors here. I also... Let's see. These are like really crazy. These are like really crazy colors. But I want them to be as distinct from each other as possible. So let's do a vibrant yellow. Alright, now let's say another. You know what? Let's do. Yeah, kind of like a leafy. Leafy, almost tea color, I would think. I, I would think that's pretty similar to tea. Let's also go with. Oh, you know a light? Oh, peach. Peach. Peach color. That's perfect. I like that. It's almost peachish. I'm, I'm cool with it. Let's do... I really like the way that one blue-gray looked. So let me try to replicate that again. Blue-gray. Yeah, that'll work. It's nice. That'll get some good contrast. And then... Something dark. Something dark as well. Like... Oh, yeah. Well, no, I kind of already got that. Right, let's go with a light pink. Light pink is good. Love it. I'm done with that. Excellent! Now, if you'll excuse me, we're going to process these colors into a brush style. Bam, bam, wazow, all right. The experiment was a success! I got a brush style. Okay. Um, I'm gonna replace it with this one and then try it out. If you turn that brush style on, you'll be able to paint with your own custom colors. Once it's on, you can combine it with other styles, too. We can update the colors here anytime. I encourage you to go test it any way you can. I never thought I'd see the day where you're one step closer to making new color without a brush. This prototype alone pushed our research forward by years. Thank you very much. Oh, did you want to update your custom colors? Nah, I'm good. Thanks, dog. The question is, how do I get up there now? So I have this. So I have that on there, right? And now I should be able to paint with my custom colors. But I've only got one of them. This is my custom color. That is pretty cool. Oh, but then I see I can change the color normally, obviously. Naturally, naturally, naturally. This is spreading along. I don't make this all a nice, beautiful blue color. Oh, you know what? I bet I can jump in here, can I? Can I jump in here? Maybe not. But then I can change to a nice... Let's do a green. This place is going to look like an absolute mess. Sorry, Dr. Cheese. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get up there. Hmm. Oh, well. Maybe I go in through the roof. Can I do that? I can totally go into the vent. Yep. Awesome. I got Robo. I'll put that away. All right, it's time to proceed with the next trial. Trial number three. Hmm. Tasty, tasty kale chips. I gotta say. Absolutely nothing. I actually completely forgot what I was supposed to be saying here. What I'll say in place of it, though, is that I'm trying, I'm hopefully, gonna try to finish all these wielder trials tonight. That's my goal, at least. Hey, Sushi Mac. This is... going to be a tough trial for me, I think. What's the matter? This was the last one I did. The theme is... 
master passing on to student. Um, it didn't go so great for me. It was the last time I ever spoke to Blackberry. I hate to bring up my old age-old drama, but I'm sure that's why this place got so messed up. We're gonna have to face it together. Follow this river up to the source. Ooh, spooky music. Very spooky. Dude, it's so ominous. I'm totally into that. Let's do it. Can I climb on that wall? I can't climb on that wall. We shall continue forward. And there's a telephone booth up here too. Just in case you need guidance. Ooh, the music here is haunting, not just because of just the way it sounds in general, but it's that oboe. Pretty sure that's an oboe, the sound with the wah wah wah. I think that's the correct instrument. I'm usually relatively confident on my instruments, but this one I'm a little unsure of. Pretty sure it's an oboe do. Oboe do? Oboe do? It's an oboe do. It's oboe do. Mm hmm. Um, was there anything? Oh, there's a little passageway over here. Cool. That helps out. I wonder what I'll find. On the other side. Oh, trash. Nice. A single piece of trash. That's good, though. Oh, wait, but you know what else I can do? I can jump over here now. Good night. Good night, dearest. Now I jump down there, and I can jump up to here. All right. Excellent. Okay, so what, what can I get over here? Uh, I see a dead ray... Uh, oh, a special uh, present. Nice. There was something secret over there. Awesome. A helmet. Oh, that's a part of the robo outfit. That is so cool. Continuing on up. Mm. Let's go up here. I'm gonna... And then push myself to the side. Alrighty then. I don't know if there's a secret area or... Mm, that looks like the way to go. I'll, I'll take it. You get one color. Okay. I'd rather you have another color. And the, Oh. Whoa, that was interesting. Okay, so which one... Where does each one go? This one goes to... It splashed that one. And then splashed that one. To go to that one, to go to that one. So I think that was the one. Okay. That was the one then. Which takes me down here, to go up and go down here, to then go up and go down the other way. That was a thing that happened. Cool. I like things that happen. Things happening is good. Oh, it's like black tar. Can I? I certainly can't paint down there, can I? I can. Oh, but it gets wiped. Interesting. So it's only for a limited time. Yours now for only ten, only ten ninety nine. But I can walk that. Oh, can I walk down there and I can like this. Ah, and I can blast through it. That's a new concept. Man, I gotta get past the other side. Ah, I'm gonna get up there. Yep, 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 please. Oh, oh dear. There we go. I don't really know what happens if I fall in there. I probably just respawn somewhere, but, you know. So this was the way to go. I want to go down here. I need to be over on that side, I bet. That way I can go actually up the river. Because that's the goal of this place. This place is to try to find uh, the source of the river. So I should be following the river, naturally. Can I jump up on these rocks? Doesn't appear like I can. No jumping on the rocks for me. But I can traverse my way around here. Quickly. And then scoop myself over there. Yeah. I wonder what was so rough for chicory over here. Blackberry, Blackberry seemed like a very uh, distant kind. What was that sound? I do not know what that sound was. 
I was very freaky for a moment there. I don't like the freaky deekies. That gives me the spook. I am easily spooked. Honestly, half the time the notification sound for follows and stuff like that freaks the hell out of me. And it did. But that's okay. It's gonna be okay. Uh, oh, this is the area from before! This is the place that I wanted to get to! Awesome! And then this will open up the possibility, or the potential, no, the route, so that I can get back to here more easily in the future. Which is perfect. I get this little gift, I'll push the ball, explode it, and that's perfect. Pointish glasses. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely little glasses. Glasses indeed. Alrighty. Alright, now that's open, and I can continue on with my adventure. And continue our way upwards. So I'll head up here. I'll bounce my way. Oh, I can't. Not yet. I do, gotta do that. I gotta unlock that too. Ah! Whoops. Gotta do it faster than that. There we go. Then I go up there. Oh, I wanna pick up the trash first. There we go. Picking up the trash. At night. At night. Picking up, doing a lot of things at night, more specifically. You never know. You never know what you'll be doing at night. There we go. Up and up. At, ooh, didn't want to do that. There we go. Yo, what's up, Chickster? The end is just ahead, Shushi Mac. You'll have to face the corruption. One of those things only the brush can fight. Sorry. Just go on ahead when you're ready. Chicory! What exactly happened between you and Blackberry? I I I'll tell you if you really want to know. I've looked up to Blackberry basically my whole life. Training with her was a dream come true. I I'd say we even became friends. I was so desperate to please her. But that meant I had to be perfect. Any sign of weakness could have been the end of my dream to wield. So I hid myself from her. Always pretended to be fine. Even when no one else to talk to. Even with no one else to talk to. And I basically got away with it. Until this trial. My very last one. Blackberry knew something was up. She just pretended not to. Until she actually had to relinquish the brush. Here. That's when everything came out. All her doubts about me. This was supposed to be a simple final step, but she was suddenly threatening to take the brush back. I felt so betrayed after everything. After coming so close. It got really heated. She tried to pull the brush out of my hands. I fought back, and then something grew. Here. It was the first time I'd seen these black trees. We haven't spoken since then. I ran away with the brush. I was sure I could keep it all under control. Sure, it would never happen again. Guess we all know how that went. So that's how all this started. How this stuff all grew here. It's... It's all my fault. But it's not just you, Chicory. Things have come from me too. It's the brush. Maybe the brush is what made it real, but I wish I'd been stronger. I let all of this grow inside of me. Seeing how corrupted it is here, it's like I'm surrounded by my own mistakes. That's not being fair to yourself. Blackberry should have been there for you. No, nobody can be perfect. That shouldn't have come between you and being the wielder. I think Blackberry knew this could happen. If someone unstable wielded the brush, it reaches into you and makes all this stuff real, good or bad. Maybe it wasn't fair to me, but, well, you know, life wasn't fair to me. I can't function the way normal people do, and I just had to live with that. I probably shouldn't have been a wielder ever. But you were a great wielder! Maybe if you had more support, this wouldn't have come from the brush. 
But, but Blackberry made that impossible for you. I wish somebody had been there for you, Chicory. I wish it'd been different too. I wish I didn't need help. I wanted to do it all by myself, like Blackberry did, but I let everyone down. Sorry, I'm... I'm not in a good place here. I, I know you're trying to help, and you're probably right. That It wasn't just my fault, but I don't think I can do this right now. Just go on ahead. Nope. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry all this happened to you, Chicory. I, I hope facing this helps a little bit. I got this, girl. We got this, Girl Scout. We'll go together. Well, uh, not together. Together, but separate. We'll conquer this. I'll, we'll conquer this for you. But first, pick it up trash. It's important. It's important. Oh, pick it up trash. Ooh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Yo, hey, 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 dead girl. How are you doing this fine, wonderful evening? Cool that you came on by to say hey for a little bit. Because it's the perfect time for me to say hey right back to you. So, um... Hey, what's going on? We're doing paint stuff, apparently. I just gotta figure out what else to do. Oh, my brush is on fire. Whoa, my brush was on fire. Whoa. That's awesome. I didn't know I could do that. Now I can paint with fire. This is, uh, this is new. New trials lay ahead. For those like myself. Oh, my goodness. Okie dokie. What else is in here? I gotta glow. I gotta glow up the cavern, or else I'll never know what there is out there. I love the glow ability. Apologies for the zoom zooms outside. I actually get used to it after a while. All the zooming in the city. There always seems to be a group of people out there who just want to zoom, zoom, zoom. When all that they possibly can. It's kind of interesting. I, for one... And doing absolutely wonderfully. It was a, it was really, it was a really, really productive day for me. It was great. My, uh, I finally got myself a GPU for my computer. I'm so happy. Um, it hasn't made any noticeable improvement right now, but eventually, like currently, currently my stream setup is two computers. It's one that does the gaming and one that does the streaming. And oftentimes the streaming computer just doesn't, just doesn't got enough output for that. So what I wanted to do was grab a GPU for my computer to make the one computer kind of be the computer to do it all. It can game and stream at the same time. Um, I didn't test that today. The GPU just came in today. I didn't want to test it today. Um, but I'll do a stress, uh, I'll probably do a stress, t a tr stress test of it at some point. But I got really excited about that. I was I had, a, I had a call for something. It was pretty cool for, uh, for a place I'm gonna, place I'm gonna help out with. It's gonna be awesome. And, uh, in addition to that as well, Got a lot of things done for my uh, new free for my new title in my freelance position. Uh, it's doing a lot of uh, it's just a lot of putting. It, there's a lot of data, and it just all needs to be put in one place. And essentially, that's what I did this morning, and it was incredibly productive. I'm not sure how your day was, but I hope it was a uh, in an equivalent way as fun filled and productive. I like to I like to wish productivity on anybody because my, my I know my main goal is to try to be as productive as possible, and uh, that's that's a that's kind of like how I determine like whether a day was really really good, whether it was incredibly fu fun is productive. If you're having fun, you're being productive, in my humble opinion. I need this fire over down there. I need this fire. No, I need the fire. Oh, fire can't go into the water. Oh, I see. Fire can't go in the water. Oh, I did not mean to do, zoom in like that. Did not mean to do things like that. Love the fire hands. Oh, I just set out the fire again! Damn it, I need the power of those flaming hands. Those flaming wizard hands to be able to get all the way to the other side. There we go. Oh, no, I keep zooming in. My, my fingers... My fingers are heavy on the keys. Okay, now I gotta make my way around here. Set things on fire, you know. You know, setting things on fire. It's a thing that we do. It's a thing that we do around here. It's for fun. It's fun. We like to set things on fire. I, for one, love to set things on fire. And I guess that's probably the door that I need to go into, right? Yes, it is. I wonder what's up in this direction, though. 
Oh, this seems spooky. And daunting. Oh, very. Very spooky. I don't like this one. This is a scary one. Oh, that's the way to go down. Oh, were there just two ways to do it? Oh, no, no, this was the way. This is the way I had to go. Because I couldn't get up the other way. Whoa! Hey, everybody. It's negative time. I'm going to eat a kale chip for power. And then brush on through. Here we go. Whatever it is, I'm ready to face it. Oh, shit. After all this time, all that training, I'm just not good enough for you? Chicory, don't do this. I, 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 I can't take this anymore. I, I hate you, Blackberry. I need you out of my life. I'll be a wielder, with or without your blessing. Oof. Mm, rough. Can I actually paint that? I most certainly cannot. Ooh. She's gone. I made a huge mistake. I... I, I, I should never have. How did I push you so far away? How... How could I let this happen? I... Uh, I'm a monster! Blackberry, no! Oh, goodness. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, I can I can color it away, it looks like. Can I actually color things away? Okay. Hi, Blackberry. Hey, buddy. Hey, you doing okay, bud? You're definitely not doing okay. But that's okay. It's okay to not be okay sometimes. Let's just talk it out, friend. Friend, let's talk it out. Let's talk it out, me and you. Me and you, friend. Me and you, friend now. Friend now, right? Yes, friend now, friend now. Yes, of course. We are all friends here. Blackberry's got a very blockular style to her i think that was always her uh, her thing there that's it's cool it's cool i like that i especially like that particular style just gotta avoid the white spots oh dear mm-hmm honestly this isn't this one ain't too bad and i mean even still like all of these boss fights are incredibly forgiving anyway so like it's great it's interesting to see, like, this side of Blackberry, too. Like, it just kind of goes to show you that not even Blackberry was perfect. No, she misunderstood. What it really takes? Why I have to be this way? It's not my fault. She's... She's weak. But are you weak, too? Are you just denying your own weakness? That's no good, Blackberry. Take a chill pill. Just relax. It's okay. But I suppose, you know, with... With such power comes an incredible amount of responsibility. And I'm sure it probably gets a little much for some people. Especially the one holding all the power. Literally all the power. The power is literally all the wielders. It's, it's pretty incredible. Oh, that was a kind of a closing in move. Gotta stray away from that one. If I just kind of go around in a circle, will I be okay? Yeah, I just go around in a circle. I'll be fine. Oh, crap. Got hit by that one. All right. Boo-boo on my part. I'm not doing very happily right now. I can see my character wincing in pain. Okie dokie. Oh, that one's a little tough. That's a little tough, too. Okie dokie. Hey, what's up there? It's not my fault. Shh. She should have listened to me. But then, why do I feel so guilty? Did I make her like this? Why didn't I just fix this? Oh, jeez. It's right there. Hello there. Oh, hi there. Whoa, jeez. Okay. Keep on smacking. Keep on smacking and whacking. Keep on smacking and whack the... Smack, whack the... the snack, the, the whack that smiles back? I, I don't know. I ramble during moments like this. It just makes it the most easy for me. Oh, I got whacked again. It's okay. We go back. Very forgiving boss fights. Very forgiving... Whoa, 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 what was that? Whoa, okay. That was a new attack. That was pretty incredible. Oh! Her. What's going on? Whoa. Okay, you're going in like that again. I can I can manage to hit just once. Oh, not like this. Not like this. Oh, I forget. I can move around like this. I forgot about that. Oh, I can do that. I probably should have been doing that before. Okay, like that. And then hit more Blackberry. Hit more Blackberry. More Blackberry, I say. Okie dokie. 
You are a tough one. Yes, you are. It's a lot of blocks. Too many blocks to count. Too many blocks. I like to fight with the color blue, personally. Aha! I just wanted to help. I wanted to make her perfect. I wanted to be her friend. But she's gone. And I... I can't fix it. She's... she's gone. She's... she's gone. Aww. Blackberry really felt like a kinship with Chicory. Well... Chapter 9. The, wheel, the Wielder Trials 4. And this will be... The last chapter for me tonight. And we're gonna get through it. Sushi Mac! Sushi Mac, wake up! Oh, thank goodness. I caught you washing down the river. I thought for a second that... <sighs> well, you know, I'm glad you're okay. If you were hurt because of me... I don't know what I... I'm okay, I'm okay. But, Chicory, it wasn't you in there. It was Blackberry. She... I think she feels terrible about what happened. Well, she has a real way of showing it. But I guess that means... It really is from the brush. And not just me, not just you. It, if Blackberry's there too, it could mean... Every wielder through history is in there somewhere. Chicory, I think... I think you should talk to Blackberry. About what happened. She... She has something to say to me. She can say it herself. Oh, shoot. This is the trial I never really finished, so... I nearly forgot about the ritual at the end. Ritual? The theme of the, the trial is... Master passing on the student. You're supposed to earn the respect of your master. Me? I'm supposed to formally accept you. Maybe with, like, a handshake or something. But did I earn your respect? Sushi Mac. You... <laughs> you, you, did, you did way more than earn my respect. So much of this happened because... I didn't have anybody to talk to or anywhere to turn. You've been there for me. You've got a strength that I kind of admire. And I happily accept you as my successor. Aww. Thanks, Jiggery. Great job, Sushi Mac. You just finished your third wielder trial. Only one left now. And then, before long, it'll be time to face that corruption on the tower. How are you feeling about that? A bit scared, to be honest. Understandable. I've been thinking a lot about what we should do when this is all over. It's probably too soon to get into it. I'll be waiting for you at the last trial. See ya. Alright. Man. Mad respect for my... My bro in arms, Chicory, there. So now, I did the one down here. I did the one up there and over there. I gotta find my way down. So, uh, that's where I'm going next. Uh, off and at him, then. Let's get him. One last trial. <laughs> Can't go that way. So there's a little wall I gotta get over. Oh, this way. Oh, but I already went that direction. So that was a rare area that I wasn't at before. So now the question is how to get to that last trial. Mm-hmm. I think I do need to go back to over to this beach. And find my way down south. I probably have to go through the swamp, I guess. That's probably where I gotta go. But I wonder. Or perhaps I just gotta go through the You know what? Actually, I'm gonna try going through the woods instead. Because like I said before, I really didn't spend a lot of time there. Tea Time Meadows. 
I'm going to make my way around this way. This way and down, I suppose. No, that was the waterfall. I don't want to go down that way. Not just yet. Actually, was there a way to get up on that ledge? Yeah, there's really no use to that. This ledge. I was thinking about getting up to this ledge there. I don't think there's a purpose to it. I think I get up here on tea time. Go down. And then... Ah, I see. That was a little cave there. And I wanted to figure out how to get into that cave. But I hadn't figured out how to do it, and that's where I stumbled over here. Aha. Uh -huh. It's just a matter of figuring things out. So if I go down this way... Banquet Rainforest. This is where I gotta be. Is about right to me. To the town of Banquet. Oh, look! A, a flower that goes up. Okay. Can I... I guess... Oh, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't go on top of the flower then. There we go. So can I bounce up? Can't bounce up? Can bounce to the side? Cannot bounce to the side. Not sure exactly what's going on over there. Do I need to make it more? Oh, I need to do it more. I see. The more I click it, the higher I go. And then this thing, I guess, is a, a horizontal thing? Yeah, okay. Oh, I have to click the, the bulb? Or Yep. Nope, okay. Only two times. I get two times, and that's it. There we go. I have learned some new concepts. I will fill them up with paint until they are ready to explode. Uh, oh, okay. I gotta get up there. And to get up there, I go up this way. Ah, oh, I see. Pop on over here. Now I got this. One more time to go out, bounce, and present time. Sweet. And then, I explode it. Come on back. Or can I, like, can I erase it? If I erase it, yes, I come on back. Cool. And then I travel along this for a little bit, and I make it to the other side. Okay. So if I send this guy... Oh, that's the... Oh, I see. Depending on which petal I paint determines which direction I go. Awesome. So I go like that, and like this. I should have just enough space to get over there to the gift, and then come on back, right? Yeah! Awesome. I don't know if I can make it down to that way, but I can definitely make it back this way. There we go. Moving right along. Oh, there is some trash down there. I don't know how I'd be able to get back up, though. So I'll have to wait on that one. Oh, this is it already? Seriously? Hey, Sushi Mac. Doesn't the rain feel nice? The theme of this trial is... Honoring Wielder History. You'll need to collect the unique brush flowers that grow here. Like that sparkly one over there. I found five flowers around the rainforest. Over the trial, you can just bring me four. Meet me ahead when you find them. Okay. Nice. That shouldn't be too bad at all. I just gotta figure out a way to get up there. Because currently, I don't have a way to get up there. Can't bounce. Can't do all that. Oh, no, no. There's a flower over here. It raises me up so I can find the brush flower. Brush number one. You found a brush flower. It did. We found a brush flower. Nice job, guys. Wonderful. Nice job. Let's see now. I'm going to go through the water and find some more. I guess another thing is that I really have to figure out where these brush flowers are because I can't really tell. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, sweet. I was just saying how it might be hard to find one, but I think I just found one. Nice. So this guy, I should go this way. Uh, I can't go that way. But I can go this way. Probably... Only one. Oh, and then down this way. Then I can bounce. Um, come on back for a little treasure. Do, 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 do. Scientist. This one looks like it was on a pretty high level. 
I don't know if I'll be able to make it up there. That seems pretty high up, so. But I should be able to... I don't think I can make that jump. Mm -mm. Doesn't feel like a jump I can make. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think that's something I can do. Um, and then backwards? So this one can go forward twice if it wants to. I definitely can't get up there. No, no, no. This is also way too high up as well. I have to find a way to get to a different level. Oh, we're here now. So I guess I should go up this way. And probably I'll find... Yep, I can find a way up to that level. I don't see any brush flowers over here, but I will always be on the lookout. Oh, there's also a child in that tree, I think. Maybe? Yeah, there's a lost kid in the tree. Sweet. Lost children everywhere. Can't go that way. Gotta go that way and then that way. And then I can do this way and then that way to bring myself over there. Oh, and then there's a... Oh, interesting. And then I can go that way and then that way again. And then I guess bounce over there, right? No, it didn't work. Shucks. Um, hmm. Interesting. I don't know about that. So forward, and then to the side, and then you come and grab me over here. But I also see, it looks like it's a lift flower too, so I think it can also go up, go up as well. Right? Lift me off? Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, that is pretty cool. We can essentially move around in two dimensions. That's really cool. That works really well. Okay, so this is where I want to go this way. Down here. Over here. I can extend these flowers out to the right locations. Here and there. I can bounce on over to that. And then that. Make my way over this way. This guy comes over here. So that I can bounce to it. And then we go back. And then forward twice. And there should be a brush flower waiting for me on the other side. If I can make this jump, which I'm sure I can. I have faith! Yes! Another brush flower! Let's go. I actually do want to go back that way. Because I bet there's another brush flower that I don't already know about. that way and then back to the big old surface I'll climb my way back up scoop my way over and pop on into this vine okay so where to go from here um, I don't see a very good way to get up there I see this guy and I see it again but like how do? I feel like I gotta be on the other side for that. So instead, I will take the time to go collect some litter. Some trash on the bottom. Oh, okay. Whoops. Did not mean to do it that way, but I did. But I did, but I did, but I did. I definitely did. Oopsie. Wanna go up here? Mm. Go up here, grab some trash. Excuse me. All right, so I suppose there's more brush out flowers down below. If I go back this way, I should be able to find it, right? I wonder. I guess I'll, this is reason enough to go down there and collect that litter, as well as continuing to the southern direction. And is there anything sparkly here? I don't see any sparkling brush flowers, but that's okay. That's my way to get back. I don't want to get back yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> There's a little gift down there and a bunch of trash. Let me jump down there, collect that trash, collect that trash again, and then get this present. Cat ears! Foxy! How interesting. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> so kawaii. So kawaii desu. This is the separate woods. This is not where I want to be. But 
This is how I... Oh, there were two ways to get here, and I chose the other one. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Continue down this way. That's a cave. Okay, I, t I went too far. But I have two blush brush frill arrows already. And this is for the way I would have gotten into it before. I see now. Now it all makes sense to me now. Is there a kid in that tree? Yeah, there's a kid in that tree. I thought. Oh, it's you bounced. You bounced, you silly kid. Gotcha. Can I go this way? I don't think I can go that way. Not on top of that particular column. Banquet Rainforest, we're back here. I have to bring myself back up. This is as good as any way as any to get back. And let's continue onwards. So what I should do is I should go down to where Chicory was and explore down there instead. Uh, yeah. Down here. Oh, I see a passageway to the right. I'm gonna go that way first, actually. I feel that is more advantageous. Any brush flower? No brush flower here. However, I will be on the lookout. Wow, I love the way that looks with the waterfalls. That's beautiful. It's so purple! Brush flower? I don't see any brush flowers over here. Let's paint all this blue. And then make the water, I don't know, uh, green. I think the idea is to traverse the waterway. Yeah, just traverse the waterway and don't fall in. Don't fall into the, uh, I guess, the waterfall. But I can use those waterfalls. I, uh, you know, I can use those waterfalls. Also, another brush flower. Sweet. Ah, please. I want to paint the surface, if that's all right. Yes. Nope. I want to come out. No, stop. Stop. There we go. Okay, so I can go there and then upwards. So I can bounce over here. To which I can go to the right. Bounce over there. This guy will come over here. I can bounce onto it. And then come on back. Then I go forward and then upward. Bounce up to grab that gift there. And I think I might be able to make the jump. That's a maybe. It's a hard maybe. Nah, I don't think I can make that. But I can fall down there. Jump back over here. Back over there. And raise myself upwards. Raise myself up twice. And then here, maybe? There we go. Brush flower acquired. One more left. Come back down here, and there's something, I feel like there's something about this waterfall in particular. Ah, yes indeed. There's a little vine. Perfect. I can follow that over here and send myself right back. I see that. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's fine. It's fine. You're cool. It's okay, vine. You can send me on back if you want to. That's totally cool. If you want to be that way, that's fine. That's your chill. And there's another brush, brush flower. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. The last brush flower that I require. All right. All right. This is going to move over here. Put this over there. Jump on over. Oh, okay. Oh, they're right on top of each other. Look at that. I'm going to erase it. There we go. Let's just... There we go. That worked out perfectly. Paint it again. One more brush flower. That's it. Awesome. I wonder if there is any particular benefit of finding all uh, five of them. But that's okay. I need not be perfect. You know what? Before I talk to Chicory, I will take a look over here. Oh, just kidding. I can't take a look over there. Nice. Got all the brush flowers that you need. I'll be taking those. Okay. Maybe me up ahead. There's something you need to see. Is it a memorial? Oh, there is some more. There is some more stuff over here. Oh, it's the clouds! Because it's a rainforest. And then I'll wait till this one comes down. The cloud. You can wait for it to go up and then go over there. Uh, and there's a little gift over there. Gifty, gifty. Nice! Big flower! Love that. I'm going to bring my way back up here. Um, to make my way back up into the clouds 
again. Because I do want to get that piece of trash. There is one sitting right there! And I want to take care of that. If it's at all possible. Which it totally is. There we go. Grab that litter. Make my way down here. This is an okay location to be at. Perfect. Take this ball and use this ball to explode shit. Like that. Love to explode. Oh, the ball's down here though. It's not at the right location. They've got a subtle pers they got a really subtle perspective thing going on. That's very convenient. I suppose I need this ball to unlock these ro oh, but you know. I gotta be really careful about it, I guess. I gotta be really careful. So it's not gonna explode the ball. There we go. Very, very carefully I have to do stuff like that. Because if I paint the ball, the ball will explode. We don't want that. Awesome, a little treasure. Was that not what I was supposed to do? Dorky. Oh, I'm dorky. I'll take it. I guess if I got the ball up here again... What's the purpose of that? Why do I need to explode those rocks? Oh, you know what? Need the ball. Yep. Because there, I need to explode the rocks on the right-hand side in order to proceed. The rocks over here, though, I guess not as important, but still need to do something with them anyways. Just gotta be very careful. Very careful about painting that, painting that little flower there. So let's see, if I take this and... Nope, can't go that way. Can I send the ball down? I can't. Oh, but can I do this? Can I put it on top of the... No, I can't? Interesting. So I couldn't do that. But I need to get the ball over there somehow. So how do? How duns do get ball over there? Interesting query. The ball has to be able to roll somewhere. That can't go that way. This doesn't go... I mean, I guess it goes higher, right? Oh, you know what? I bet. Okay, I think I got it. I think I need to send this double up so that I'm on a different level. Do it again. And then... This guy comes over... Oh, it totally doesn't work. Hmm. Thought maybe that would be able to work. If I were on a double level. Nope. That would work either. What about this guy? Maybe there's something about this flower that I haven't seen. Nah. I would need a surface for the ball to get onto. Oh, you know... I bet. I bet. I could have just done this, right? No? Still no? That's still not the right level. Interesting. Well, I am... confused now. Can I get down there? I can get down there. So... What does this allow me to do? That's above. So that is a level above. Can I... I don't even know what's going on here. So, whoa, okay. I'm trying to figure this out. Maybe I put ball on top. And then... I don't know, really. Pipe ball now? No, can't push it on. I can't push it on to there. I'm trying to think of other things. See where the paint takes me. Where does the paint take me? That'll give me the clues that I desire. If I come down here, I can find this flower. And I can get on top of it. But I can't send it downwards. Unless, can I? Can I send it downward? I cannot send it downward. Oh, I've got it. I've got it now. Okay. I should be taking it from this angle. I can get the flower over here. I can put the ball on top of it. Then we can go back this way. Then, I can hang here with the ball. Send it forward. Oh, didn't want to do that, but it's fine. And then forward one more time. And then explode this here. No! Oh, 
Oh, uh, that's a little tough, I guess, to explode it right there, you know? I want to explode the I want to explode the ball, please! Can I not explode ball? I am attempting to explode ball as best as I can. Allow me to explode. Come on, ball, explode. Maybe I need it to be right there instead. Come on, explode. Explode, ball. Ball, explode. Ah, uh, ball, why won't you explode? I want ball to explode. It will not explode. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to explode for some reason. That's really odd. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. That was convenient. It took a little bit, but eventually ball would wind up exploding. I, I always knew it would. I always knew ball would explode. I had so much faith in ball. I always have faith in ball. Have you had faith in ball today? I'm not sure if you've had enough faith in ball today. Have faith in ball. Ball help. Ball good. Ball very good. There we go this way, and one more time, and now I can proceed. There we go. Oh, and pfft. cool. Awesome. Gets knocked down. Oh my god, there are a bunch of brush flowers over here. Oh. Well, that's kind of nice. This looks beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. This is beautiful looking. This is a lot of flowers. And they all kind of look like paintbrushes. <laughs> Who knew? I'm gonna paint them on a lovely color. And then I'm gonna color those slopes so I can get on down. Get on down to Flower Town. <clears throat> Bobby? Bobby, I swear to God. Bobby. Bobby, we're gonna, we're gonna eat some flowers, my friend. Bobby, we're gonna eat some flowers. Is up here where I need to be? No, just a little area to watch. Cool. Down here, that's where I need to be. Chickory! Oh, it's a big tree. I'm gonna paint everything. That's so cute looking. Well, I'm absolutely going to do some justice here with some painting. Oh, that's serene. I really love colors. I really like that. Okay. Chicory, what's up? Beautiful, right? Yeah, it is. So, the story goes that once, a long time ago, this huge tree spontaneously sprouted here. And that branch that's missing now, that was the brush. This is where it first came to be. And where someone became the first wielder. The brush flowers only grow from this tree. So, for this trial... We find the stray brush flowers that spread elsewhere and replant them here. I got brush flowers. Nice. You can place those from your decor menu. Plant them all on this screen here. And let me know when you're happy with where they are. Sure, no problem, Chigri. Got some more gardening. And I'll place a couple of them there. Let's place one there. Place another one right by Chicory's foot. I'll place one over near the brush statue. And then one more just off to the side. And I'm going to paint them unique, the blue color to symbolize that they're mine. They're my brush flowers. Sort of. They're all of our brush flowers, but for this pur purpose, these ones are mine. Chicory. Who was the first wielder? Not much is recorded about them. Besides what's kept in the wielder temple. We know they were a massively creative person. They changed the world in a major way. Before them, nobody had seen color before. It's wild to think about. From the stories we have, it seems like the brush sprouted here just for them. Who knows? Maybe they were like some kind of alien or god or something. <laughs> Probably not. Chicory, how many wielders have there been? Hundreds. Not so exclusive, right? <laughs> After the first wielder died, the brush just passed naturally from person to person, but was way too sought after. 
Wars were fought over it. People died for it. We had to make rules for how and when to pass it on. Rules that everybody agreed to. So it could pass peacefully. I guess that's how we wound up with all this. Wielder, apprentice, trial crap. Worked, though. People don't die over it these days. It's easy to forget how lucky we are. Chicory, are your flowers here too? Yep. Most flowers here were planted by former wielders. But I still remember which ones are mine. <laughs> I was so excited back then starting out. I wanted to be the best wielder ever. But then... Seeing this old tree... All the wielder's flowers... I think it started to dawn on me. The weight of all these artists whose legacy I carried... Wanting to be the best... Wasn't enough. It's that I had to be the best for all of them. It's a lot to carry. Chicory, I... If it's really so important to uphold this legacy, I don't know if I'm the right person to do it. Maybe I'd have better taken off back then. If I hadn't confronted this... I hate this legacy. These expectations, they took so much from me. It never mattered anyway. You really don't have to be anything. You can be great your own way, Sushi Mac. Don't let a stupid legacy control you. Happy with where your flowers are planted? Yeah. I'm good with that. And that was it. Chapter 10. The Brush. With the wielder's tri with the wielder trials over, that is where I am going to call it for this evening. As we make our way back to the main menu with the lovely sounds of chicory allowing us to rest a little bit for the night. To everybody who stuck around until the very end, I very much appreciate your company. It is just a lovely experience to be able to just chillax, play a game like this, enjoy the music, especially enjoy the music. I love the way the music sounds here. It's just such a vibe. I continue to listen to stuff on Spotify in my free time because... Dude, sometimes you just forget about the legacy, forget about the pressure. It's just trying to do whatever it is that you do. And for everybody sticking around, I think, I think, there's somebody I can push you all to. Potentially. Yes, indeed. We've got a member from the Aura Fury community. It's The Wiggles Gaming, who's playing some Among Us right now. And looks like they could use some company. So I think that's where I'm going to send everybody over. To everybody who has stuck around, I very much appreciate your presence. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. It's, it's been wonderful so far. Go off. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. I'm sure it'll be great. And that'll be it for me for the rest of the night. Peace out to the Raiders. There you go. Peace on to them. Off you go. And if everybody else hanging out to the very end, well, that's it, my friends. We're done. We're done for the evening. It's lovely. I've extremely enjoyed Chicory thus far. I plan on continuing to enjoy Chicory for a little while longer. I think there's probably about one more episode of this left, and we'll see what happens when we fight the final boss. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be awesome! It's gonna be awesome. But until then, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, twilight, whatever day it is near you, whatever time and place. I hope it is a wonderful one. So peace out, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of whatever it is. Bye, guys.